Facebook proxy, table, gaming, fans and followers, friends and enemies. I am Hyper G with Lucky Sixes. Hey, hey, hey. With a very special video. Feels like a long time since we've done one of these. Yeah, it does actually. I mean, Dread Elves wasn't actually that long ago, but it does feel like a long time. A lot has changed in the world since Dread Elves, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've it. had a whole Masters since then, haven't we? <laughs> I know. And we've been we've been mulling over this one for about a week and a half as well. So uh, I know, it's good yeah. to finally yeah. get, uh, get a video out on it and stuck in. Mm, yeah, and um, it won't be lost on many viewers that uh, we are posting this on release date of the book. Which is after a lot of people have potentially shown, stroke seen, yeah. the book. For reasons that we're not going to talk about at all. <laughs> what an F up. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> move uh, on, because we're going to now review Vermin Swarms. And if this is the first time you've watched it, well done to you. Yes. And let's tell Welcome. you about the book. Welcome. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, if, if, you, if you haven't seen this book before, um, it has changed drastically <laughs> yes so yes that um, little book that you've got on your shelf that was printed out old vermin swarms just just chuck that in the bin yeah because you don't need that anymore <laughs> there are a few talking points uh all you, the way through one or two. um yes. even right to the end as well um mm -hmm. we've both done like our little mini pre-reviews and yeah literally yeah. every single one even even the the last like up to the last unit has has yeah. some big changes so we're, we're excited to talk about it but uh there is a lot to talk about so we'll crack on there is yeah we should do we should do so nice little uh logo to begin with yeah um, standard same as same as the old one so you know content that's not past. changed no nope, yeah <laughs> <laughs> which is a good start there i guess go. uh yeah and so, the first one the army specific rules now <laughs> This is where the whole game changes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I looked. I looked at the old book, right, and there is literally two units in the old book that have access to ambush. Yep. The assassin and the uh, yeah, gutterin, or whatever they should should have would have been called in the old days. Um, and um, yeah, the the gutter blades. They they were the ones that had access to ambush before. Yeah. Now ambush is a tunnel marking reserve wonderful thing for vermin swarms, if and I love this rule. Yeah, it's really cool. If you thought Helmore <laughs> added something to the game, um, yeah, the whole yeah. of the vermin swarms book now adds something to the game with this tunnel reserve and markers, yeah. and all like, the way through, there's there's extra hmm. things that can add to it. Um, like you get extra markers, for example, which are where your things come out. Um, yeah. uh, we should probably talk about what it is, really, shouldn't we? Um, yeah. I mean, we don't intend on reading out every no in, everything we'll in this book. It's on screen, and we'll, yeah. exactly, exactly. But basically, at the start of the game, if I try and summarize it, and tell me if I'm doing this wrong, like Isaac does, because I may not have understood it correctly. At the start of the game, you get a certain amount of tunnel markers. You place them on your half of the board. Um, fr during the game, those tunnel markers can be used in various ways to spawn units or to bring units back that have previously been killed. Yep. And depending on which units you take in your army list, you may have one tunnel marker, you may have up to four. Yep, and that's the markers. In terms of the reserves, you have things mm. that have been killed, or things that yes. you purposely put in your reserve as well. So, um, yes. and that's that's and the tunnel reserve is what can come through the markers. That is in a nutshell. Um, yeah, there's a few other much. finer points, but yeah. Uh, exactly, yeah. Uh, you otherwise, might have to read it through. Pretty, the, yeah, mm. pretty similar to Ambush, apart from obviously where they come out of the markers rather than uh, yeah. the signs. Yeah. So, um, like losing scoring, for example, things like that. Yeah, um, it's kind of a bit similar to the Undying Dynasty's underground thing. Yes. Um, yeah. In that way. Um, um, so it's essentially Ambush with but, a ratty feel. Yeah, and there's a whole load of stuff that can do it. So, um, mm. it, it I wonder works. how much of it is, is based on the, uh, the Total War side of things. Sure. Um, yeah, the rats spawning yeah, from below, yeah. sort of thing. Um, Pretty cool. 
Either yep. way. Uh, so that is a thing, and we will com- there will be constantly things where we come back to that, so we won't spend too much yeah. time on that. Um, uh, army model rules uh, throughout the army. Born into battle, so you must be deployed in and uh, can only be deployed in X. So like uh, yeah. vampires have Awaken X, um, mm. where they can only or they they can only choose to bring back the whatever is in the X. Born to battle, you have to be deployed in. Can't leave. Um, in whatever yeah. the X is, so it's that... kind of like a special rule for the war platforms because yeah. they've got one or two of those. Sure, um, it used to be called State of Trance, um, and it used to give um, a unit fearless. It doesn't anymore; it yeah. doesn't actually give you fearless as standard. Um, some some units that have born in born into the battle have access to fearless still, but this doesn't give you it directly. Yeah, so it. State of Trance is now born into battle for a proper war war platform feel to it. Really, yep. Uh, do do do. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, callus. Uh, so you can shoot to combat, basically. Um, yeah. It's, it's slightly rewritten. Um, because um, only it, it used to include though. only yeah. It used to include the hereditary spell, which is no longer a damage spell. So um, yeah. obviously that isn't included anymore. Sure. But also, um, you've got the fact that whereas before. On a three plus, you automatically hit your enemy unit when you were firing into combat. Now you actually randomise every hit between your your own unit and your enemy. So it's actually more lethal to the rat rat side of things, the vermin swarm side now. Yeah. Um, there's just more chance of hitting yourself because it's a four up instead of a three up. Because before, when you rolled a three up, you automatically hit the enemy. Yeah. Now you roll for every hit. And I would say, so, as a little bit of a spoiler for things coming up. Is there there is more stuff in this book? I think that hurt, can hurt yourself. There is, mm. it is it. There's it's a very eighth feel. I must admit. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I in think terms so. of they're bringing back some of the just craziness. Yes, um, absolutely. The life is cheap kind of things. Well, yeah. yes, it's which is another so, rule coming up. But so yeah, yeah. So it, it, this whole idea. There's a lot of things that are really good, but. Yeah. On a one or on a four yeah. plus in this, there's a consequence. Plus, there's a consequence yeah. to it, and it, so I, I actually really like that as a mm. as a, mm. a thing. And it's so it's basically I don't I don't know how that will work in ninth, having an eighth book in ninth. But I but sure. I think this is probably one of the closest things we've had to an eighth book. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, something yeah. to get really excited by, I think. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, so. Uh, next one, Eagle Standard. Uh, this comes with the Roman. Uh, yes, theme. it's the first proper Roman named rule, isn't yes. it? And Ro- Roman theme is a, is a running theme within the book. It's not necessarily a surprise to people that the ra- the vermin swarms are being compared or given that as a fluffy kind of link. Yeah. I- I'm a big fan of the Roman Empire, like the history and all that. <laughs> that. I won't go into that um, because, um, but. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, being Roman, it's it's cool. Also, I don't know. Yeah, all right. On a really not even historical level, right? Don't eagles eat rats? <laughs> I'm sure they probably wouldn't think twice about eating a rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why yeah. would that make what well, terrible name? Yeah. Come on, guys. I get I get I mean, where the Roman yeah. thing's coming from, but uh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but in terms of the actual rule, I think this is very strong. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's like having a whole load of mini BSBs across the battlefield. Yeah, really, so um, yeah. we will read this yeah. one out. Uh, uh, a unit with one or more of the eagle standards within 18 inches of the general gains rally around the flag, which is BSB, uh, with a range of six, pl- six inches as well. So not only their unit, units yeah. around them get it. So that is that's amazing and also yeah. any discipline test taken by units while within range of inst- of this instance of rally around the flag are minimized yeah Whoa. now you need to say that strength in numbers or safety yeah. in numbers is gone as a concept sure. like you don't add rank bonus to discipline anymore sure. that's gone and the highest discipline character you can take is seven Sure. So you don't have high discipline across the entire army, but you are going to get a whole load of rerolls. <laughs> With minimum. <laughs> and potentially steadfast. Cold, yeah, yeah, exactly. So 
instead of having high discipline, you've got this sort of thing to help you out. So there is a, a very fine balancing act and play testing plus the community will determine whether this is fair yeah. or OP. Uh, and or for sure. Unpowered. So there, there are some different drawbacks between the army that we haven't got to yet, but this as a rule uh, is really, really good. Really I think good. it's awesome. And it's will awesome. be used quite a lot as well, so yeah. worth knowing. Uh, life is cheap, as something you mentioned before. Um, this, yeah. I think, is a really strong rule as well. I think it's really strong. Yeah. So I mean, each it, it, health point loss of models yeah. with life is cheap is only counted as half health point losses for the purpose of combat score. Yeah. Rounding yeah. fractions up. So uh, it doesn't include yeah. overkill. Um, no. Which is no. good. Because that yeah. means that you can't just auto win against cowboys, yeah, and that sort yeah. of stuff. But that's crazy. Yeah, and this is kind of the rule that replaces Brood's courage, which was yeah. like and and um, safety in numbers kind of thing. Um, so yeah, instead of worrying about having ranks and getting that to increase your discipline, you now just don't care about your units dying because they don't. Contribute to combat res that, don't that badly. Combat, and that is yeah. that's crazy. That I think I think this is one of the rules that's gonna that looks like quite fun and quite quirky and mm. quite fluffy, but actually in terms of gaming, um, mm. will be really important. Um, yeah, and really, yeah. and will turn the tide for things because. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess this is a preview to our preview. <laughs> um, one of the biggest rules and changes in the Vermin Swarm book, along with the life is cheap and along with the things, is the res. Yeah, resilience of units. So, mm -hmm. it is a bit of a spoiler for things going forward because you won't see it on the screen right now, but a lot of the Vermin Swarm stuff is res 2. Yeah, standard infantry. So and the, the even the old stuff ones that were things. res 4 are now down to res 3. Yeah. So, most standard infantry models in this book have now lost a res. So you're going to kill things easier. So yeah. again, another part of this being a really, really good rule is that you will kill stuff easier. However, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that they're not good at fighting. Mm. So mm. you will, you will need to kill a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and you can't so... rely on winning through combat res when no. only half of your kills are actually effective to the yeah. discipline test. Uh, this... On top of the fact that they probably got a reroll no matter what you do, you For can't because sure. they've got rerolls everywhere. The, potentially, absolutely. This alone, this mm. life is cheap rule alone, will, will is the best way of encouraging eighty plus man units. Yeah, yeah. You, you will see those uh, so, out and yeah. about and, uh, and around and stuff. So, yeah. Um, big rule. Except you, you won't for eighty, but you know, I know what you're saying. But yeah, like big, big old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big yeah. old merts, <laughs> uh -huh. big old Absolutely. units walking around, yeah. and to be feared as well. Not just mm. oh, I can get around them gaming wise. Like yeah. you, you're gonna have to wipe them out, um, yeah. and or have some really good good units, you know. Um, oh, absolutely, yeah. But yeah, big rule, big rule. Life is cheap. Um, valorous discretion. Um, so treat. I, I, I read this. I haven't directly related it to which ones have this. But... It's your characters. Your characters all have it. So they treat all enemy models so single model units of standard height with valorous, so your characters mm -hmm. treat all enemy units as units with terror. Yeah, so if you're thinking of having a single character running around don't. Because right. <laughs> you're going to run away. So would It they... basically means it, it, it's replaced Onolus. Which used to be you could refuse a duel without any consequence. Sure. Onolus is gone, as far as I can tell. Which it may pop up later. Because <laughs> I haven't spotted it. But yeah, now vermin swarm characters should not be outside of units. Yeah. Because if they are, they're going to leg it. Yeah. So the this first sign of trouble. Sure. Basically. Saying cowboys are not a thing <laughs> in, no. the, in the vermin swarms, which is fair enough. I would say got, so. I mean, there may be some bypasses that we come across, but yeah, sure. basically that's it. Yeah. Um, without number uh, rule, uh, do you want to mm. take this one? Can do. Um, it is completely new, um, and it, it links back to our tunnels, uh, basically, and I kind of already mentioned in some ways because, um, yeah, if your unit dies and you've taken the without number upgrade.
upgrade, and you do have to pay for it. Yep. And and beside, and you also all models in the army must take yes. this rule once yeah, you've yeah. decided to go for it. Uh, and when that unit is removed, well, when the model is removed as a casualty, so each model in the unit that has it goes one by one, or lots by lots, as probably is the case. Um, you you don't they don't lose them forever. They go into reinforcement pool next to the battlefield. And when you've built up enough of them, you can bring bring them back via your tunnel markers yeah, as new units. I mean, they lose scoring, so you 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 can't use them for objectives. Um, but they're still new units on the board that can cause havoc. Um, if you've only got 25, you can bring them on as vermin legionaries um, with the, the effects that it's listed. Or if you save up loads of them or lose lots in one go, you can bring back a unit of slaves. Um, they are the only two units in the army that have without number as an option. So it's not like you can take a beefy elite unit, let it die and replace it with rubbish little slaves. No, because the only units that have without number are vermin legionaries and vermin slaves. Yeah. So you're you're all, you're most of the time you're replacing like for like, but the fact is you don't lose your unit because it can just come back. Yeah, and that's amazing. Late game as well. So that's that's so amazing. I mean, yes, you've lost scoring, but as far as I mean, what does it say about the points for the unit? Because uh, if you kill the unit, I would imagine unit, this is like summoning a new unit of zombies or skeletons in the vampires. So that's what I imagine, but it doesn't physically say that. No, I, mean, perhaps, I guess you get the points for the unit that you that originally you kill. Yeah, you Since, don't like keep the points while they're in reserve. I don't think so, but we will clarify. I think and we'll put. I think, and, I mean, and give us the if, comments if yeah. you already know the answer to that, because I don't know. So it's, it's unusual for something like that not to be clarified, I think. But sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess maybe it's so obvious that it's not clarified, i.e. the new unit isn't worth any points. Isn't the old unit points, is what you yeah. get the points for. That's yeah. probably the answer. Yeah. But, ooh, but anyway. Yeah, but if anybody could clarify, that'd be useful. So, mm. yeah, so, I mean, uh, all linking to this tunnel reserve um, mm. and giving a lot of thought to it, it, it is going to mm. change the game. How you play Massively. against Vermin Swarms, yeah, yeah, yeah. how you play with Vermin Swarms, actually. Mm, mm. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, attack attributes, uh, so these things some of the, the characters have, um, or, or units, I should say. Um, yeah. Cohort coordination, two instances of fighting extra rank when you're steadfast. Yeah, I mean, this this actually replaces the uh, the banner of the Endon Swarm, which was yeah. a magic item that everyone took three of, or no, yeah. not necessarily. Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone had them in their big ranked up unit so that you could basically attack with so many models. You used to like be rolling tons of dice for, for for vermin swarms. And that was great. Um it cost fifty points for each version of the the item that you took, which which was cool. Um I'd I'll be interested in seeing what the units with cohort coordination cost, because they now have this as an inbuilt feature. Um so I mean looking at who has cohort coordination, um you know, you, you've got options for it in a, in a lot of places. I'm trying to scramble now to look at which units have cohort coordination. Yeah, yeah, and we'll come um, back to that. But basically, I think it's basically your core units. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's your three core units that yeah. have this. So fight um, extra so... fight next round when you sit fast, and you're going to be because you, yeah. like like we said, you're going to have those bigger units for the for the infantry stuff. So more yeah. often than not, we'll say unless you come up against another vermin swarm. Uh, you'll yeah. have that. So, which which mm -hmm. adds to the power, the, the um, actually killing power of those units as well. So, yeah, yeah. Hence, why the losing half combat res uh, is mm. strong because mm. you're going to get more attacks uh, as, yeah. a, as a as a brat. So, yeah. Um, lightning attacks. Um, uh, this is something mm. that come pops up quite a lot actually as well. Uh, yeah, throughout. it's changed slightly from the old version. Yeah. Um, the old version was um, set to strength 4, um, AP 1. Now it's strength D6, AP 2. Yeah. So swings and roundabouts there. And I um, mean, in, yeah. in Night Phage as well, ha having a D6 and not a 2D3 minus 1 or sort of something like that is... That's really swingy. Uh, that's yeah, exactly. The, yeah. One of the swingiest uh, rolls you could get. in, a, mm. in So I, I quite like that. Yeah, strength one does nothing. Strength six does everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, and it's got this extra thing with if you're in water, you get to re-roll your battle wound rolls. Nice, that wasn't there before. Yeah, that's cool. Um, 
and yeah, this is it's mainly on a semi new unit, the Doom Spark devices. Is that what they're called? I wrote it down. Yeah. yeah, Doom Spark devices. And that we'll get to them. Semi new, semi not. Yeah. There's two <laughs> but, types in this. So we won't talk about that yet. Yeah. So um, but and it, it pops up every, like here and there in other places yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So exactly uh, some characters can have things mishap. With it. Yeah. So this is we were saying Ooh. earlier about um like things consequences. Yes. Um, yeah. So mishap uh, relates to that. <laughs> it's kind of Very their nice. own version of misfire, yeah. um, which is cool. Going back to you know old school yeah, vermin very, swarms. Very um, nice. Not everything. So yeah, it kicks in when you roll a one for yeah. a certain roll, and not always the misfire chart roll. Um, things like Giselles and uh, other things that roll to hit. Or roll the number of shots. Yeah. It kicks in for those rolls instead of misfire rolls. Yeah, a, a lot more so, has mishap than would normally have misfire. Yes, exactly. Um, um, but I mean, the old versions of Giselles had a version of it anyway when they rolled once to hit. If anything, this mishap rule is actually more punishing yes. than the old version. Agree. Because it used to be you took a toxic attack when you rolled a one. Now you take d6 hits with strength two AP naught. I know strength two isn't bad, but that, it used to be strength three, AP ten. Yeah. So this so, is a worse consequence, but there's more hits. Absolutely, and <laughs> this directly relates to the next. Uh, yes, trial and terror. Trial and terror. Yeah. So basically, for most, probably not all, but for most of the shooting, uh, you mm -hmm. have a normal uh, shooting effect, and mm -hmm. you have a trial and terror. Uh, Which I really love the name of that, by the yeah, way. That's really cool. Uh, really cool. Really yeah. cool. I mean, Eagle Standard, <laughs> terrible. Try and terror, amazing. Um, so, oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So um, the trial and terror generally has uh, like better strength, for example, better hits, yes. blah blah blah, things like that. Less um, range. But mm -hmm. uh, those things will also have mishap, and when you have mishap and you get the, you actually roll that mishap. Uh, mm. You get plus four strength and plus four Ooh. AP against you. So you're six, 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 six AP four. So and it's still D six hits. <laughs> yeah, so exactly the same mishap, mm. but strength six AP four instead of strength two AP naught is your. Ouch. But you will get some much better yeah. things. Fact, yeah. It first. And so, and it's your choice. So yes. <laughs> I mean, why as a vermin swarms player you wouldn't choose to use Trine and Terra? Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> Picked up the rats. Yeah. That's what you've done. Um, exactly. But yeah, so those two uh, directly link mm. in with each other. Uh, Cult of Eremant, and the reason I'm trying to go through this quickly, guys, is because it, there are so many rules and, yeah, and uh, yeah, things no. in this book. This is going to be ours. This video, like, so. yeah, yeah, you will be uh, like, thanks for stop watching talking. This. Stop talking. Don't yeah. stop. Stop it. There are. Let's lots, get on with it. Come on. Lots and lots, lots of rules. <laughs> um, so, Cult of Eremans, a, a funny one because. I, I I mean, I really hope that I'm not going on a limb and getting this wrong, but Plague Brotherhood, the old unit, have kind of gone. The old Plague Monks, Plague yeah. Brotherhood, are gone from the book. But don't panic, because they've just been combined with Plague Disciples. Um, and we'll see that later. But the only thing that has Cult of Eremen is Plague Disciples, or characters yeah. that can go with them. Yeah, there's some things. That and you'll see, it's no reason to panic that the um, the uh, what do they call them? Brotherhood. Plague Brotherhood. It's no reason to panic that they've gone because they're just different now. Uh, and this is a rule that I think is incredibly strong for them. Yes. And so, I mean, don't panic too much. It isn't an army wide thing. It's only on that. Plague Disciples and their associated characters, so it's not going to affect the whole army. But then, I think this kind of rule, you want to be taking that unit absolutely because of this. So this is uh, amazing. If an enemy rolls a one against you to hit, they take a toxic attack. Ouch. <sighs> at Freaking their ouch. initiative. Every well. single one you roll. And I mean, mean I at, at least it's after they've attacked. Uh, that's the only thing I'll give it to you. Yeah, but you're still rocking it. I mean, Saurian Ancient players, moi, a panicking because I reroll my ones. That means I've got two chances of getting a one, doesn't it? No, probably not. No, no. Because the first one would whatever. be ignored. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out. In, there, in fact, yeah. actually, you're the one that's not panicking from this. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I can reroll my ones. It's yeah. only to hit, but, um, um, at least. Uh, so yeah. there is that. But yeah, so um, that goes with good. some things. Um, the armory. Uh, so yeah, you've got wow. your. Oh, 
your your classic mm. stuff. We've got canister also is it a naphtha, I believe. Uh, oh no, uh, it was deep fire as naphtha. Yeah, I mean canister launcher and deep fire thrower. Uh, jumping to those ones, um, they've replaced globe launcher and naphtha thrower and naphtha launcher. Those two are gone, and they both used to be volley guns, but these two are both are now catapult and flamethrower respectively. So chase so completely. Volley guns are gone in the Vermin Swarm's book, and they've brought in the catapult and the flamethrower for these two. There we go. And as far as comparisons between the old versions and the new versions, very difficult to do because they used to be volley yeah, guns. They're all, and all, now all, they're not. Yeah. So treat and them all as of they, them really, as you see now, uh, really are pretty different, especially with the trial and terror stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. Giselle's for the most part has gone down from strength six AP they have four, four. To, to one, um, but. Yeah. Uh, Keep with everything, and you can um, you can now. Is, am I right in thinking the normal uh, range you can stand and shoot with? Uh, the normal range it appears you can because you don't have reload. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is but amazing, the trial so, and terror yeah. one you cannot uh, exactly. stand and shoot with because yeah. of the reload. So which yeah. I think is they used to have it. Am I right in thinking that the reload? Oh, they used mean? to have reload. No, no, they didn't. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. I'm making uh, that not that I'm bit, aware of. But, Unless so, it comes uh, comes as part of unwieldy. But no, they didn't. Yeah. Use to. Or you use your stuff. You know, accurate, um, uh, pretty high strength and AP. Um, but yeah. has a trial and terror to make multiple wounds and a lower range. So pretty yeah. cool. Of course, uh, you've got you've got mishap, which is worse than it used to be. It's not just on a one to hit that you suffer one toxic. You now suffer a D six. Yes. So. There is that to bear in mind. So yeah, I think yeah. Giselles have taken a little bit of a hit. I do. And also, well. they're only 0 to 18 now. I'm not sure many people had that many more than 18. Yeah, I think that was however many but you could take before. But yeah, yeah, they're, exactly. they're clarifying it now. Uh, exactly. Rotary gun, uh, D6 strength mm. 4, AP2, range 18. Um, it's, all right. it's a lot less powerful as well, though, really, yeah. because the old version uh, used to have um, 2D6 times 2 shots. Or three d six times two. Yeah. So this one is now only d six and only two d six d six times two. If you trial and terror, try and terror it. it. However, I believe, and I have no evidence to back this up, this version may be cheaper. Sure. So I don't think yeah, you yeah. need to worry. It's just a slight difference. A slight difference. You get with Toning it. So, down, but probably hmm. adding different elements with the trial and terror. I think so. Um, so. Canister launcher. So catapult two by two. So. Four things are going to get hit by it. Yeah. Um, toxic, uh, which was there before. Uh, so strength three. Um, it doesn't have to with toxic attacks. If you roll a miss and then a, a thing, that still doesn't go down, does it? Because toxic is always strength three AP ten, right? Mm -hmm. So again, yeah. that's that's set, kept the same. Um, bigger bigger uh, uh, area with the trial and terror. So get more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah, it's beautiful having a catapult with toxic attacks because, like you say, half strength. There is no half strength. Doesn't it's matter just yet. So, set. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know about whether the range has gone down. That seems twenty four seems fairly low. Well, uh, it depends. I mean, the thing is, they were volley guns before, and they were both range eighteen before. All oh, right, there you so go. So it, it's a hard one to compare. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. the trial and terror version is eighteen, but actually, the catapult version has gone up. Oh, fair enough. So yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, deep fire thrower, flame fr flame mm. thrower, uh, strength three AP naught. Uh, the bearer games flammable. Uh, <laughs> I love that Bit of canister on his back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, otherwise, it could be strength four, but still AP naught. So, meh. I, I don't, I, I'm I think not, this I'm is not massively en enamoured by it. Really, no, it's a bit meh. I, 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 I like the idea of it, but I don't think over the other. I think the others. No, I mean, flamethrowers have got their, their benefits, i.e. Sure. You, if you roll a two up, you hit, and then you're causing damage. That is a benefit, you know. Um, you don't have to roll to hit, so you know how many you're getting because you're rolling for the ranks of the unit you're firing at. Um, so it, it's more consistent, but can you do a lot with strength four AP naught, even if you try yeah. to terror it? Possibly not. But I mean, yeah, against other right. vermins, it, right. it would really work. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I guess and I mean, you know, it, it makes more sense for a deep fire thrower i.e. the old nap for thrower to be a flamethrower as opposed to a volley gun. Sure. Yeah, that, yeah. That's fixed. Um, yeah. And it used to be strength 5 AP1. So, so okay. it's kind of had a bit of a transformation. Yeah, but... so that was okay, but probably just okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's uh, worth shouting out at this point before you move on too far yep. that uh, rules that uh, are kind of gone from the old book that were there and have now been more standardised, and we'll see them in various features throughout the rest of the book. Uh, Dark Shards, gone. Onolus, I've already mentioned, has been transformed into something else. Tagalong, not sure if that's somewhere else in the book, but it's gone as a, a opening rule. Uh, tail Weapon, not mentioned here. Maybe it's a thing later on, we'll find out. And when I say maybe, it's because I haven't spotted them, but I might be wrong. Uh, gas Globes, <laughs> Ratlog Pistols, Sling, Meat Grinder, Plague Flail. They're all things that were mentioned at this stage in the book last time, and they're not anymore. Yeah. So, I know there's definitely slings. Uh, exactly, yeah. Sure, so, so yeah. you know, but before they were mentioned in the but, armory, and but the, not armory in the armory was like yeah. so long, <laughs> you know. So. so yeah, nope. So lost some stuff, but but certainly gained some stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. So nothing uh, to be I, I quite about. like it so far, actually. Um, mm. It's streamlined, fun in a better as well. Way. I do, oh, I yeah, do yeah. think this will be a fun. You you play so with much. or against, it'll be a fun game. Things will happen. Well, against uh, maybe not. So well, it depends what your version of fun is. But yeah, yeah. Random. I, shit no, I think so. Happen. I think so. Yeah. Random shit yeah. is going to happen. And uh, yeah. it, I mean, they, they, I mean, they could take you off by turn two, but um, or they could take themselves off. Self by turn off one. by turn two. <laughs> yeah. um, right. So, uh, hereditary spell. I mean, if you thought the tunnel uh, thing was, oh, man. was bringing stuff up, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, bro. No, you haven't. Uh, because... I mean, let's just briefly say. The Awakened Swarm used to be 2d6, strength 4, AP2 hits. Yeah. That's what it used to be, but it ain't that no more. It's still called the same thing, though, which is hilarious. And actually, it's probably more appropriate now than <laughs> I think than, so, yeah. Before. But yeah. yeah, so basically, you, you're summoning or uh, uh, raising, if you if you remember, Guy, uh, very I'm, similar to that. I'm, I'm shaking my head for how good this could be, <laughs> or how annoying and crazy this could be. Cause, yeah, and... Uh, um, I mean, have a chaff, read of it, because right? sort so, of summarise, maybe not all of it, but yeah. So five and chaff, seven, but in thirty-six kinda... and eighteen range is that's low casting and high yeah. ranges. Yeah, like, yeah. Anywhere within high. thirty-six inches for a summoned mm. unit is crazy. You could totally change the other side of the battlefield, right? With this, so, however, uh, I mean. They can't be charged once you've brought them up. You don't charge a Rat Swarms unit. And I should mention as well that Rat Swarms as a special entry is gone. You can't take Rat Swarms any other way now. Yes. These are your Rat Swarms. So if you've got Rat Swarm models as a Vermin Swarm players, don't panic. This is where you take them. You can't take them as part of your army anymore. But, I mean, you can't charge the unit once it's spawned. And everyone ignores them for purposes of unit spacing and all movement. Yes. So, and they never block line of sight. So you can, as an enemy, they're not actually chaffing you. Sure. Because you charge through them. A bit like a, a, a uh, madget, uh, mad in, a, in a way. And when you do, you suffer casualties. So, so two, basically that last bit, it? yeah. For for each um, is it for each rat swarm model, so it's three hits for each removed rat swarm model, and their strength two AP one. But go into the paragraph above, yeah. and this is where it gets absolutely <laughs> insane. At the start of each magic phase, not friendly magic phase, yeah. each magic phase raise X health points in each rat swarm unit, where X is equal to the number of health points in the unit. They double in size, until they're 27 health points. And that's nine bases of rat swarms. But you kind of have to be careful because I guess it depends what formation they're in. Because if you're adding models to the back of your formation and you touch another unit, they blow up. Yes. Wouldn't they? they bl yeah, they blow so up. If you touch you've got to be quite careful with your placement of them because they're going anything. to double so in size. One, so... Yeah. yeah. So you, you kind of want to do it early doors and then uh, later on pump the it. The applications into... of this are insane. Yes. <laughs> and I, I mean, fair play to the first Vermin Swarms player that figures out the best ways of using these. But I think it's so cool, but it's yeah. crazy as. I mean, you know, a great imagination for whoever decided to come up with this. 
you okay there? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're reading it, and you're like, I can see the, the cogs. The, oh, there's, the there's so many around. cogs, man. There's so many yeah. cogs. And so yeah. I'm just saying, thinking, uh, if so if you hit a unit, so for three hits for each removed mats, rat swarm model. Yeah, yeah, and the whole unit goes when when they go. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's that's all it is for that. Just crazy. <laughs> You're kind of blown away by it. I I am. it's worth <laughs> it's worth mentioning that an old rat swarms unit used to cost ninety points for three rat swarms. Now you just summon them for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do a totally different thing now though so just it's just a crazy unit and I, it, it will yeah. certainly it it will certainly um affect it, it's just it's just mad it's just it's yeah. one of those things it, it's so new as well it's just mm. it's going to change everything completely so and that's uh, yeah. i mean that's what we've said sort of we haven't even got to units yet man and we're no. still it's just <laughs> crazy really? stuff crazy yeah. stuff yeah yeah. Um, special yeah. items. So Doomblade. Doomblade, and it's better, <laughs> I think. I think so. It, it's the same points. Um, uh, obviously, you know, you've got the threat at the very last thing when a natural one is rolled to hit with an attack. You take one hit with lightning attacks, but that's not. Um, yeah. That's not as. It's not the automatic wound that once was. No. Well, you no. You used to have one hit with toxic attacks um, in in the last version. So not auto auto wound. Um, there was a previous version before that that was auto wound. There you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, well, uh, you get an extra attack with this version, which is, is nice. Um, and it's still multiple wounds D6 and become divine and magical. That's the same. And you're still strength and AP 10, which is same. So, good. Um, so it's just you're gaining an extra attack on last time for the same price, basically. And the consequence is slightly different. Um, but yeah, overall, it, it is slightly better with that extra one attack. So, yeah. And I know you are rigorously trying to figure something out at the moment. I'm, <laughs> but, really, uh, I'm trying to get Doomblade in every single v VS list I do. Of course. Because it's yeah. amazing. You're just rewriting lists. So, <laughs> in terms of, uh, if you're happy to move on to Swarm Master. Yes. Um, I mean, uh, I I have to say, I mean, it's gone down five points from the old version. It used to be a paired weapons. Now it's just a close combat weapon. So that's cool. Um, I mean, it, I think it's, it's changed a fair bit. I mean, I'm just reading through. The wielder gains grind attacks, where X is the number of full ranks in the wielder's unit. These grind attacks are resolved with strength 3, AP 1, and magical attacks. I mean, yeah. It used to be that you had attack value three d six while using the weapon, sure, and the similar strength and AP, um, but now it's grind attacks and equal to your rank, so it's a lot less attacks. Is it, but it when is, you got it ten ranks? Cheaper. There you go. When you got ten ranks, it's not rank bonus. It could be better is it? Than, well, three d six. The average is ten point five, so you'd struggle to get more ranks than the old version used to be. We'll see. We'll see. Have, hold that thought. <laughs> well, uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, exactly. And then the pistol, uh, plus two shots, uh, rodentium mm. bullets, plus two shots, yeah. divine and magical. I love it. I, re I like that. It's, a, Absolutely, it's yeah, solid. Yeah. 20 points is solid as well. Yeah, it? I mean, That's... it is. It kind of replaces the dark stone shot, which, you, which used to be on a Giselle or a Rattle yeah. pistol. Um, uh, that version you used to get when you rolled a six to wound, you got multiple wounds D3. So... That was more expensive than this, though. So this is just solid, I think. Yeah, it, it, like 20 points, you often yeah. have 20 points to spare. Uh, if if you know you're shooting a, a single uh, flame flame warden, yeah. then go for it. Yeah, Chris. Um, that's the re-roll is ages. So armor, all, uh, everyone's a winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, armor, <laughs> fortune, five up, a successful to hit oh, rolls mate. with comic come back against the wearer uh, must oh, be oh, re-rolled. I'm crying. I'm I'm crying. You've got to remember that you are. If you roll a one to hit, you're taking a toxic attack. Because this is because it's on of of error, Yeah. Remember. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> now, if you if you roll six 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 on your on your hit roll, no no no, re roll. Now you get one one one, one, one. one, one, and take three toxic attacks. Oh man, this is this is oh. this sucks. 
As it a non-PS I mean, player, this sucks as a... <laughs> <laughs> if you've got Cole <laughs> on your character, you need this item, basically, just oh, to yeah. screw people over. Because yeah, yeah. they ain't going to attack you if they've got armor. If they haven't got armor, they probably don't care, because toxic attacks, whatever. Well, it's only on light armor, so there are some downsides. No, no, if you've got armor yourself, you're going to no, no, I mean, attack but... him. Because this, you're going to get toxic attacks back. This enchantment is only on light armor, so you can't have... Yes. I mean, like, I don't think they can have plate, but like heavy armor and things like that. But well, we'll see. But this <laughs> but yeah. this sucks balls. It I'm going to say I'm, this is, and that's not even to mention you've got fortitude five up in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that's that's a killer of a, a thing that is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's going to be used a lot. So get used to that, boys and girls. Yeah. Um, but Banner of Last Storm, a bit crap. Yeah, I'm I, putting I this mean, out there. For, this is shit. I this guess. Is rubbish. Is this the different version of the lightning rod? I don't know. I'm not sure. It, it does a different thing. Doesn't yeah. It? Um, um, well, they don't have the lightning rod, which was everything that flies uh, can't fly for a turn. Is yeah. That, is that that one? Um, yes, no flying movement they performed as part of the lightning so rod. So with this one... The lightning rod did other things. Though, yeah. So. This it does count all the time, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but uh, parts of... I kind of think, though, if, if, you, if you're the opponent and you know you're... And your opposition has got this. You just don't put your flying units anywhere near terrain. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could do if you if you're clever as the VS player, you put you make them charge through terrain and things like that. Yeah, you defend terrain. Yeah, to make so them take damage, but danger terrain two isn't that much of an off put for me. Yeah, for seventy five points. The so ones and twos. Uh, yeah, it's one of them. Like, I don't mm. think. For 75 points, think, it's a lot. I think it might be reduced in points. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, Maybe there's something we're missing there. Yeah, that's it. So, But my initial impression is that's meh for 75 points. I want something yeah. better for 75 points. Um, Sacred Aquila, a uh, bearer of a uh, gains about focus, always good. Uh, mm. The whole giving something synergy like that is good. Uh, but ones uh, go against yourself. So yeah, there used to be Aquila of Ruin, um, which was something entirely different. It used to be you used to get an additional rank bonus, uh, yeah. plus two rank bonus, kind of a Legion banner, um, sure. which ironically Roman Legion, not not not, <laughs> not in the it, thing yeah. here. Uh, but yeah, this is a completely different thing, as far as I can tell. It costs ten points more as well. Um, but yes, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, Next one you're going to see in every single uh, Vermis list. Is that a really? list. Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Bell of the Deep Rose. Ambush rolls as a bearer's unit may be re-rolled, so if you want it on, you, you'll get it mm. on. And uh, if you pass with this unit, so you use mm. this one first if you want everything on, um, all other tunnel reserve get re-rolled as well. So it's one of those. Um, it's like the Beastman stuff. If, you, if you're desperate yeah. for things to come on. You get that, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's only twenty-five points on a banner. Uh, do it. Is that is that still hurt? That that little. Shush. Piece we move thing? on. Um, right. Even more <laughs> items. Oh jeez, we could do. We could have done with a very small special item section. Oh but my no. goodness, this is what I mean. Yeah. Um, even more items. Uh, Crown of Humans. Loads of artifacts as well. There's how many? There's eight artifacts. Jesus. This seems but like no, a lot. This seems no like armor a lot enchantments. Of... That's... Oh no, there is an armor enchantment. It, this seems like yeah. a lot of items. I don't know. Yeah. They've lost two armor enchantments, so maybe yeah. that's why. Um, although, to be fair, they had they did have loads, yeah. <laughs> they had they had nine artifacts last time, so actually they have cut out three um, entries. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Crown of Hubris uh, plus two casting, which is really good. Um, but if you fail to cast, you get lightning attacks, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's simple. Um, pretty cool though. Plus two. Mm. Um, Orb of Atis. Uh, is actually just just to go back to the crown of hubris. Um, one thing to spoil later on is you can't get wizard masters in the Vermin Swamp book. Yes, yes. Magic so is... that plus two casting modifier in that crown of hubris, quite a thing. Yes, but yeah, we'll move on to that later. Probably. Um, uh, so orb, orb of Ateus. I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. Ateus, Ateus. Ateus. Uh discard two veil tokens uh for um plus one to wound. Uh, this is great. Yeah. Great. Um yeah. two veil tokens may be a bit much. Um because it you it'll only happen once per turn, but I quite like I'm I'm glad it is. <laughs> because yeah. um 
Yeah. I mean, uh, this used to be a focusing stone, I think, which was slightly less points um, and did uh, allows you plus one to wound. Is that the same thing? Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, so it is slightly amended, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, orator's toga is the stand behind and cannot issue duel, mm -hmm. so that's the, mm -hmm. the special rule. Scepter so, of Vermin Valor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's there again. There it um, is. So will be used on BSBs for cheap BSBs. Uh, Storm Rocket yeah. uh, artifact shooting. It's back! It's back. Doom Rocket's back! Yes! Happy days. Uh, so oh, massively. Even though it's it's a pretty good weapon, um, yeah. I, I quite like it. So does this um, go in with the pistol thing or is it it's a completely separate thing no it's completely uh, I think it's completely separate as, yeah. I mean there's a whole load of different um, engineer sort of thing options the scorch yeah. it alchemists it's like if you had um, if you had uh, the bullets or yeah, yeah. Bullets, they don't combine do they um, well this is an artifact so it's not on the weapon yeah sure yeah, cool. Good. I, mean, so I think I this is actually a, a different weapon. Yeah, so yeah, no, I, I don't. I, I don't agree. think so. I agree. Yeah, but you yeah. can choose to shoot one weapon, can't you? So yeah. So so yeah. So great. Uh, like mm -hmm. it, it's gonna be. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's mm. five AP two. You kill most yeah. cavalry units. And area attack three by three. It's pretty handy. You know, that's, that's a decent chunk of an elite yeah, unit. So, You're um, hitting on two. Strength five. No, it's not like. Outstanding game breaking, but it's cool thing to have for forty points. Oh, I think so. I think so. so yeah. Interestingly, for Storm Rocket, is it doesn't have a mishap. I was quite surprised to see that. Sure. Considering yeah. a lot of the uh, Vermin Swarms, you know, have their own mishap. This doesn't have a version. It's, it's one it's use a only. Pretty though, reliable so. weapon. Yeah. <laughs> one use only. You'd be. Oh, uh, yeah. There is there. that. <laughs> there is that. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. I didn't see the one use only part. Actually. You pay forty points. You can only use it once, and then you die yeah. because of it. That'd be classic. Uh, that, that's fair. That's fair. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I would have thought maybe they should have a mishap, and it changes to area attack five by five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make it better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, map of the Deeps, um, you may move a single friendly tunnel marker within 24 up to 6 in any direction. That's, cool. that's so cool. Yeah, that's really good. Um, that's that's hell, hell more, isn't it? You know. Uh, yeah, and it's and it. I mean, every every friendly shooting phase, you can move tunnel marker. If you've got two or three, it's going to be really yeah. handy. Uh, yeah, and, and, uh, if so, you're planning on taking lots of tunnel markers, you you take this. I think. Yeah. Um, and, and or, maybe, or maybe if you've only got one tunnel marker, maybe you take this because then you can move it around to the. Yeah. As the, as well, the it doesn't. Um, it doesn't say one only. Oh no, they they're all one only unless they're not to something, aren't they? So yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Tomb of Rat King, uh, Awakened Swarm Bow Spell, sweet. Uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Boosted with three, so it's like a normal bow spell. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh, stomp attack, uh, Tur Tarina's liar. Sorry, uh, stomp attacks uh, within six inches, uh, minus two to wound. So that's gonna be really interesting, especially as again, mm -hmm. and this is where the synergies come in. Like especially with the uh, uh, the half combat res stuff. So yeah. not only a half yeah, combat yeah. res for those monsters going in, mm -hmm. uh, which they need to do the wounds to get combat res to beat big flank, big units. They're also gonna be their stomps aren't gonna be as good. Every wound. Uh, every two wounds, only one of them counts. Like things like that stack, yeah, um, they do. and are really yeah. important. So yeah. it 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 might not seem like much. It might be a very <laughs> seem like situational, but when you put all those things together and synergize them, yeah. you start defending your big units against those blender blender lords yeah. or yeah. the the monsters or yeah. the other ranks ranked up stuff and things like that so exactly i mean with with an item like this you're always risking that you'll come up against an opponent that doesn't have any stops yes um but 30 points you've not lost that much exactly so, so um battered battered laurel wreaths it's, it's fairly it's spreadingly hard to say. i love this i love this this is honorless basically yeah. and it's on the vermin senators who will get to but yeah, this is the way of protecting your guy from a challenge. You yeah. basically just push a guy forward and say, no, you're taking the challenge now instead of me. Oh, it's mad. Uh, I mean, cool. 25 points. I mean, obviously, what, what's cool is I mean, if the bearer unit does not contain a champion, so that could, you could do that after your champions have been yes. killed. <laughs> it's insane. I like, I like yeah. it as a rule. I think it fits for yeah. the swarms. However, I, it does not fit game-wise 25 points. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you think that's too much? Too cheap. Way too cheap. Too cheap. I Way think. Cheap. I think if it stays at twenty five points, it should be one use only. If I'm honest. It w- yeah. But because it's twenty five points and you can use it as many times as you like, I agree. Too cheap. Yeah. So but, uh, do yeah. something to that poison. Uh, again, though, it's situational. You know, if how many? There's only six turns in a game. Twelve combats maximum. You'd do well to get twelve. It is. It is situational. Game, but you've, but... I feel like you've got so many different things that that prevent. Yeah. Like different things from affecting your units. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. like you're making your it's it's adding all those tools to it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think something like that just takes away the the characters um, mm-hmm. of, of of people or the like. Well, it just nullifies them completely. Yeah. Because you don't care. Yeah. You you no. don't care if your champion or one model dies because you're steadfast or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, right. Whew, take a break. Uh, get get. If you're sitting with someone, massage each other's backs. Because uh, <laughs> I wonder why you were going to say that. I know, yeah. Like, give each other a hug. Only, well, but socially distance, obviously. Um, <laughs> army oh, yeah, well, organization. Your characters is down to thirty-five percent. Interestingly, yeah, it's um, got to be one of the lowest, isn't it? Probably, yeah. I mean, I mean to be fair, that, so. everything is a lot cheaper. Yeah. So there is a reason why that's gone down, but mm. yeah. Um, also, your bread and games category, which used to be built and bread, a slight twist, but it's again a Roman thing. And again, I'm not. I think they're forcing that one in a little bit. Bread yeah. and games doesn't really. I. I, anyway. I don't. But it's get gone it. down. It's gone. No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, get no, that. Yeah, no, What's bread and it? games. Bread and games. It's like uh, the 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 um, 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 theater. No, <laughs> Colosseum. It's like arena battling. Bread and games. They used to throw out bread, and the yeah, no, never mind. I'm yeah. wasting my time. Yes, um, I don't get it. At the games, they used to give out bread, <laughs> uh, make themselves pop. Yeah. yeah. No. no. Um, so that's gone down from thirty percent to twenty percent. Right. That's the only yeah. real other difference. Uh, yeah. We'll move on from that. Um, <laughs> good, good idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> and again, I'm, make sure you've got a drink, boys and girls, because um, it continues to change. This is. Such a chat. It's not even worth comparing. No, uh, so... I've got I've got the old vermin demon on my screen, but that is where I give up. Yeah. So it this one relates to the old vermin. Well, points wise, it's well cheaper. Yes, it's like... almost half the points. Right. However, the base size has changed. Yeah, it's got bigger. Which I don't like. I'm going to put that out there. I don't like yeah. anybody changing base sizes for things. I think nope. I understand that you it want to make it. messes with people's collections. You yeah. want to make it harder, or it, that's game wise, it has to be because of weaknesses, whatever. I don't mm-hmm. like that. I, I'm going to no. put that's that's a, a terrible decision. Uh, and and books moving forward, I will always say that I don't like base changes because people yeah. go out. Buy models, um, uh, paint them up however how they like, and then they've got a. Yeah. A, you, know, you can't just tag on an extra twenty five mil to your nah, model rubbish. without it looking good. I mean, so, people can do it, but yeah. not everyone. So. Um, there's. Uh, I'm sorry to say that's not the only one that's changed, mm-hmm. um, and I won't mention how much I dislike this uh, decision anymore. But that's <laughs> that's one uh, one of my real pet peeves is changing sure. model sizes. Sure. Um, it's also changed type. It used to be a beast. It's now infantry, so it hasn't got yeah. swift stride anymore. So, uh, um, no swift stride, although yeah. that you can get Obviously, that with one of these many, uh, many, many rules. Sure, and so, I probably shouldn't compare because yeah, that's it. There's no comparing it's ridiculous. because it's so yeah. different. So, yeah. um, I mean, res five, strength five is not that amazing. Ages five up is not that amazing. Um, he's mm-hmm. it's strength AP four though, which is good. Uh, yes. It's not as good as it was, but it's still yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Movement 7 and 14, decent. It's, it's your sort of standard mm-hmm. monster, uh, really. Yeah. Um, uh, 7 HP is good. Uh, it's got a lot yeah. of HP. Yeah. Um, 4 attacks isn't that much, though. So it doesn't seem to be, especially... Guy, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd say strength 5, he's got a bed. So strength 6, uh, for the mm-hmm. most part. Um, AP5, but, yeah. which is essentially AP10, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's your basic... Uh, yeah. And he's a wizard adept uh, mm-hmm. in occultism. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, not divination anymore. Mm. No, access to divination for uh, rats, I think, is gone. I don't okay. think they can get it uh, at all. Um, okay. The only other basic thing, 
and I'll, I'll stick with the basic is unlimited power so it must be the general mm. uh, which is interesting I guess what which is why you can only take one down. of them as well so. um, it's itself balance. and everything within commanding presence is unstable and cannot flee mm. so this is the guy that is telling them to go and die um, yeah. that's quite a that changes your entire army that that's quite a, a you're gigantic side. as well, yeah. aren't you? So you have an 18 inch yes. this, range. For me, as, this is quite a downside. Um, yeah. And would you would have to really think about your army composition well, army. to include him. Um, yeah. Which I guess is a good thing for characters because you, you want you yeah. want characters that are going to change the army look um, and, th- and uh, appeal to different people. Um, however, in terms of gaming, uh, I, I feel like that is that's quite a harsh thing on you mm. where you're gonna lose lots and lots of stuff so instead yeah. of having leadership checks you just lose continue to lose stuff yeah i mean i uh, guess it, it goes back to the whole you're only taking half the combat res from losing models so maybe unstable is not yeah. as bad as yeah, it is true. for like a unit of zombies for example no yeah um, absolutely but, but still you're gonna still. lose lots of models so so like, so long yeah. as you build your army to not care about being unstable you're okay Exactly. But you do have to, yeah. Uh, bear it in and mind. not being a flea just means you have to be that much better in the movement phase. That's all. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's the basic yeah. thing. But you must choose different options. And if we go sure. down to these, so there you must choose one of, one of these and one of these: a mortal or- origin and a patron deity. And they are all very different. Come with different costs. Mm. Uh, not too expensive, even though more expensive. So you're not going to be that a thousand point plus. Uh, no. three battle points difference. Uh, well, at most you can be 545 by the looks of it. Uh, yeah. So, so, yeah. so at, at least there's that. Um, mm. But they are... These different. rules are very Roman themed as well. So. Yeah. Well, especially with the names. Mm. Mm. Uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, after you, sir. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Senate. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at these and just like analyzing, analyzing them as we go. When Puna units within range of the model's commanding presence, including the model itself, lose health points due to unstable, the number of lost health points is reduced by the unit's number of full ranks to a maximum of three. So already good. you're thinking, yeah, good. okay, that's a good one to mitigate the unlimited power rule. Yeah. Lord of the Legions, and that's free as well, you know. So, uh, Lord of the Legions, the model gains great weapon and paired weapons. Interesting. I mean... Yeah. It says it gains great weapon and paired weapons. Does it have weapon master? No. This is what this is my question to it. Is that a, I don't know whether that's a which typo. one do you have to use? Um, I guess you do. You, or do you just choose? You choose at the start of combat, and you can't change. I guess what that would mean. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, so great that means you have a great weapon, paired because... weapons, and halberd. Weapon master just means you can change between combat rounds, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 So I guess. I guess so. It's not that much of a thing if you don't have Weapon Master. It's free, so I yeah. guess some people may think it find a way for it, but I, I'm already thinking that one's not. Yeah, anyway. Pontifex Maximus. Uh, the model knows the Awakened Swarm, great, in addition to its other spells. In addition, the model gains a plus one casting modifier for the first casting attempt in each magic phase. Great. There's your way of getting a, a fake Wizard Master in, basically. Yeah. Um, but, uh, again, uh, you it's, do pay it's, 25 points for that, though. It's okay. Um yeah. But I guess for me, right, right, just on the literally blink of an eye, the unstable thing and nullifying that is probably the most important. I think uh, so. Out, out of those three, you're because you have to have unlimited power. You but, probably we we may be through. But, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, getting an extra spell and and casting to it is good. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Avatar of Akrotos. Akra- yeah, Akratos. I mean, these, these these must be the kind of vermin swarm gods almost. Sure. Um, I'm guessing, but I mean, without the extra fluff alongside it, which I don't know if that's available, and I certainly haven't uh, read it no, yet. It won't be yet. Um, it yeah, exactly. The book. So the first one, the model gains light reflexes. I love it. I mean, you're an elf straight away. Yeah. Um, it adds plus two to its size combat score in combats, which is engaged in. Ooh, that's I an mean, extra synergy. <laughs> it's really good, especially as your offensive is low. Um, yes. So yes. Uh, that's that's always going to combat that. It, it's a bit odd that your offensive is so low, um, mm. as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I, this is a that's a really strong one. Um, yeah, and two. it's free. Oh no, it's not free. Oh, they're in a different order. Weird. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's twenty points. 
Uh, yeah, weird. Um, so, Favena. Uh, Fav Favena. Uh, the model gains multiple wins D3 and Swift Stride. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> um, it is, yeah. Um, you know. Swift Stride, so you get that back thing. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, multiple wins, so you become more of a beast D killer. Yeah. Uh, yeah as well. 20, so. 20 points. I think if you asked, asked any fighting character, would they take multiple wins D3 for 20 points? Forget about the Swift Stride point. They would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, you're sacrificing the other options to take this, but if you're a killy character or even half killy character, would you take multiple wounds D3 twenty points? Yeah. Yes, you would. Oh, yeah. Swift Stride two. Yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> so Swift Stride to make sure awesome you get for into twenty points. You, want you know. As well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so last one, change of fortune for Aegis five up. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, I, I like it's, it. It's free that one. So if you don't like the other two, then go for it. You know. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, so, I mean, original thoughts, he's, I don't think he's as good as he was before. Especially but he's half the, the cost. But he's half the cost, so he was never going to mm. be. Uh, don't like that, but I, that's the last time I'll say it. Okay. Um, move on. <laughs> move on. Yeah, cool, though. So, it is cool. There yeah. is cool factor there. Yeah. Um, but it is totally different. So Totally different. Um, so, yeah. Not not sure. I'm still not sure about him. Um but he is cheaper, so... Yeah. Well, when we do our army building video or whatever, I'll take one and you won't have to. <laughs> All right, yeah, there we go. Um, so, Vermin Senator, he is the one that can gains access he, to a lot of the cool items yeah, um, yeah. For, for me and a lot of the ones that do a lot of And he's stuff. also the highest discipline in the army. Nothing else is seven. Yeah. Everything else is below. Um, and to go with that, Vox Populi, Populi, uh, I mean, having said, I, I know about the Roman Empire. I know nothing about the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Pop the range of the model's commanding presence is set to 18 when yeah. measured to units with one or more models with Eagle Standard. Cool. So, I mean, you're going to get your Eagle Standards, which Eagle Standards are only on core units, um, FYI. Um, so, you know. But then they they add to six inches around yeah, them as well. So. I'll, I'll probably check myself saying that because I'm not sure that's entirely true. So but yeah, so. Um, yeah. Uh, Basic wise, he's your bog standard sort of guy. Not really gonna, not really at kill. He got pistol, yeah. so he can add to that, um, which is cool. Yeah, no um, warp block pistol anymore. They don't exist. No, it's, it's just, just pistol, pistols, which I think yeah. makes sense. It's easier. Plenty of other complications. It's easier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's so much other stuff in this that mm. just simple. Just give him a pistol. Um, yeah, but you yeah, can so. go on a palanquin, a Praetorian palanquin. We'll probably look at that when we get to yeah, character yeah, mounts yeah, rather yeah. than looking at it here. But really. otherwise, I mean. Pretty standard. His stats are terrible, but why he's got attacks too, I don't know. But, it's uh, uh, it's for your discipline, isn't it? It's to try and make it yeah. as high as possible. I can't yeah. see anybody not having it because discipline seven is going to be so important. Um, well, the problem you'll you'll have is that if you're taking a um um what's it called the one above um the dictator is that what he's called yes. the one above the um, sorry yeah yeah if you take one of them he's got to be your general. So vermin Sen unless you're taking. A ruinous dictator and lots of of senators to get discipline seven in lots of your units. Sure, but 115 you, points no, is so. nothing, really. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really nothing, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and the and the reason they've got that cal the, those uh, that character thing where they can't go out of units is so that they can't then be chaff for 115 yeah. points. I think. Um, well, they so. can, but that you're risking your terror checks. Well, yeah. yeah, on discipline seven, so they're not very good. Mm. But yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, he does have access to loads of of, of the mm. good items. So a lot of the items we said before are only spe on specific units, uh, yeah. which again I quite like. I quite like that you, you have to tailor it like that. But yeah, um, bog standard, discipline seven, uh, and access to items basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, Blood fur commander. So he's more your killy guy. Um, it looks like the tyrant and the chief have been combined into one. Really. Um, yeah. They used to be two different things. One could be a higher discipline general like fighter and the other one was Shabir Spee now they're the same thing which is kind of a bit of a running theme almost they're sort of like combining units into entries to, and giving them multiple options um, yep. and decimation <laughs> have a quick read of that <laughs> animosity's <laughs> back <laughs> in the wrong book it's back in the wrong book what the hell crazy isn't it I mean you know that's the way to uh, make sure you pass your discipline text really um, actually, no. If you fail a discipline test, uh, so yeah, mo models. So, 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 when the models, 
uh, when the model's unit fails a discipline test after any re-roll, so after your re-roll, uh, yeah. you roll a d6, add the result to the initial dice uh, oh, okay, rolled so for yeah. the discipline test. Yeah. So It doesn't um, actually say that that can cause you to then pass your test. <laughs> no. So, so say if you roll a yeah. 10, uh, we'll go with 10, uh, then you roll an... A, uh, add the... Roll a d6, so let's say mm-hmm. 6, so you get 16. Um, you add add those two together to get that um, as an additional instance of minimised roll. So um, no, 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 that would mean you then ignore the six and stick with sure. your so ten. original ten. So, so, no, you, so that's yeah. wrong. So you roll a one, which yes. takes your ten down to let's say. Well, if you get a ten via a six and a four, yeah, then it means you take five. away your six, and you've got a four and a one gives you discipline five, which probably means you pass your discipline test. But it doesn't actually say. This then counts as a past discipline. No, it test. doesn't. So the model's but unit suffers a number of means. hits equals to the discarded dice. From yeah, the but so, it never actually says the unit then counts as passing its discipline test. No, I don't think it does. Does it? That's, if you well, run, I don't know. If you run, you blow up, right? So it's a it's all bad then. Yes, I think so. Is what this is saying. I think so. It's it's even worse. Oh, okay. So there is no good part of this then. It doesn't mean that yeah. you can then potentially pass your test. No, oh, fair enough. Doesn't say do this instead of it's like decimation. So you're running bad. bad okay, boy. so this isn't a way of causing casualties in order to pass your test. Then this is if you're running, you're taking damage on yeah, the way yeah. through. Yeah, okay. Make sure he doesn't right, run. I've, I've kind of misread that. Then that's why they don't clarify that because there is no clarifying. So yeah. so yeah, so you roll a, a six and a four to make a ten. Uh, you your extra dice rolls a one great uh you can discard the six but that means your six uh is the number of hits uh equaled uh to, that you take that wound automatically gotcha. with no saves gotcha. so it's uh, but it is the model's unit it's not the model mm-hmm. himself so it's not him dying yes um yeah, but yeah absolutely. pretty killy okay, i'm with you now has lots of access to the killier um items mm. and uh some different mounts that we'll get onto as well uh but with yeah. that extra decimation uh rule as well so yeah, and your yeah. BSB comes with an auto eagle stand as well, worth, worth noting. Oh, that is worth these, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Make him better. Uh, house Prefect. Mm. Whew, yeah. Talk about, talk oh, about extra man. rules. I mean, this is kind of like your uh, profit in the ID book, i.e., you take the profit and then it can take the Luger and all that a lot. You know, yeah. you can change him into different things. Only this is a non magical version because. This is kind of like your engineer, almost. Um, it, I mean, it used to be um, the Ratchachit, Ratchachit machine, yeah. machinist, <laughs> I think. But now it's there's a Ratchachit technocrat and all that lot. I yeah. mean, they're kind of all combined into this. Um, it's a really hard one to compare because of that, because it's spiraled. Yeah, and um, again, I mean, 2 HP as well, so it's not... Yeah. No. That's a bit, that's a bit, a bit squishy, a bit squishy, um, and yeah, not not exactly armored up or anything like that. But um, no, no. But yeah, so uh, character wise, basic wise, not that much. But obviously, you have to choose one of these four. Um, yeah. So you've got the heavy armor shield, which adds to that armor, I guess. Uh, charge range rolls in a rat, um, consisting of entirely of giant rats, fetus brutes, arena beasts, and models with pan- 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 within 12 inches are subject to maximize. So, um, swift stride, basically, on specific mm. units that contain all uh, of these. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, very specific, but obviously, yeah. that's when your list building comes in. Uh, yes. The technocrat is an engineer. Uh, so it can mm-hmm. add stuff to weapon teams uh, yeah. and experimental weapon teams, which I haven't come onto yet, but basically uh, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Um, yeah. Great. Uh, the Alchemist, uh, plus two agility and offensive skill uh, to the model's unit, so synergy-wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, use what's only. back to like, you're still killing stuff. Yeah, well, this is it. This is it. So, mm-hmm. again, um, and I mean, for 115 points plus 10, so 125 points, yeah, completely yeah. naked. Mm. Just get him in there, activate that at high in agility because you're still rats. Job. Yeah. Brilliant. The unit suffers D6 hits the wound automatically with no saves, to be fair. But mm. you've increased your agility and offensive skill uh, mm. off the back of it. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like you've managed to kill the enemy because you're 
plus two agility higher, that's it. then you don't care that you've lost a few because that's you're it. potentially reducing the amount of attack back to you by quite a lot. For 125 points, yeah. um, it's great. you don't care. Yeah. Uh, the no. model, uh, and then Stygian Overseer, uh, heavy armor, great weapon, uh, friend, during friendly shooting phases, uh, detonate. 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 Oh, 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 I love it. Everyone within six inches takes 2d6 strength. Oh, four, man. So that is that like is... the Helmor. Where oh, you can just blow them cool. up, um, yeah. And during friendly space, so you can do it. So once your all your tunnel markers are out, and mm. you see no more use for tunnel markers, and people yeah, have yeah. got to you, whatever. So sort of mid to late game, probably this is gonna yeah. come out. You just yeah. start blowing people up. That's yeah. that's cool. That's cool. It's really cool. And and to be honest, I kind of see that as a reason why. And this, I mean, we're only halfway through the character stage, but. I kind of see all these cool things in characters as a reason why they're making it 35% characters. Yeah. Because you can just load up on characters with this book so far. With and all as, the synergies you can get. As so, far as I know, if you have multiple of these, unless there's only reason you can't have multiple, well, not two. Uh, each one is an option, not two. So for if you have a, two of them, you can blow up two tunnel markers. Yeah. The only, so, the only consequence, of course, is that if you've only got four maximum to begin with, yeah, yeah, sure. They don't, they don't but, come back once they detonate. So. Exactly. So, but and that that's the same for each of these is that multiple yeah. can add multiple. So yeah, um, mm. it's cool. Really, really cool. interesting. Really cool. Loads of options. Oh, that's going to be that's mm. the theme. Um, and yeah, Swan Priest. So this is your caster, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Just one last thing about the the oh? house prefect. He can only take seventy five points of of special items. So yeah, yeah. you can't load him up with others. I, I, you don't really need to. So. My initial instinct is these are going to be cheapy boys anyway. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you're going well, to have much... Just look at the stat line on the Swarm Priest. I mean, you know... Of the House Priest? Yeah. No, the Swarm oh, Priest. Right, the swarm priest. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. HP 2, Defensive 2, Res 3. These guys aren't sticking around if no. they get in the wrong place. So, so you, I don't think you'll see them much with too many items anyway. No. Um, but so there's yeah. just no point in defending them because they're just going to blow over if they yeah attacked, exactly so. so um so he is I, i'm gonna say your main caster because he can be an adept yeah. but again yeah. no masters is a thing so yeah um, exactly yeah i mean this is the magister really yeah um, uh has access to the, a different mount which we'll come on to in a sec uh the sacred mm. platform rather than uh, any of the others um mm. can be a, a, a eremon which we've come on before uh, yeah, the toxic Aramon is the is the the plaguey boys, isn't yeah. it? So. But again, uh, has to be one of two uh, with these yes. two things. So uh, three, no, one of two, and then that's one of two. Overall. And yeah, then sorry. holy triumphant is is over there. Yeah, yeah. So um, with that, you diff you get access to uh, witchcraft uh, with pantheon mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. instead of occultism. However, you do need um, for the holy triumphant, you need three models with that rule. In order to bring into effect additional choices for your um, path selection, sure. Um, so, you know, that's that's an interesting one because you don't have a master, but maybe you just have lots of little casters instead. I think so. Yeah, which which could yeah. help with your veil token issues as well. So, yeah, um, yeah. It's sort of, and the triumph I mean, is another that way. thing as well. So. Yeah, triumvirate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, yeah. yeah so, who, who who was in the first triumphant, Tom? Um, I don't know. Some some loser. <laughs> was it arguably, Roman? you're so not. Arguably, you're not wrong. Yeah, they all <laughs> they all lost in the end. Come on. Uh, right, Dark. <laughs> next one. Your assassin, Dusk Blade assassin. <laughs> uh, mm, used to be the Sakara assassin. So, so uh, oh, yeah. loads of stuff. Loads, of, but I mean, he's in there mm. too blow up stuff and die basically um, yeah yeah i mean all dread elves are thinking why did the dusk blade assassin got some cool rules when r1 is just basic and boring um, <laughs> but we won't go there they tried harder <laughs> they tried harder but they, they did try harder definitely with this one um, so yeah no, you used to only be able to take one um i don't know there was no limit actually yeah um before. worth noting you can't add to him so they are as as you see on the tin Exactly. They have lots so of rules. The yeah. They have lots of rules, but there's no extra items or anything like that. Um, no. As far as I can see, no armor with distracting. I don't know mm. whether these 
Uh, and no ages anymore. Used to and have no ages. ages. So they will die. Um, yes. Even with defensive fire. But you fire should attack first. But yeah. you will attack first, probably. Um, yeah. Well, if you don't, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so that's the the idea behind these is just throw away guys that can probably with multiple wounds against characters, divine attacks, uh, paired weapons. So three, four attacks. Oh no, it's mm. model units in base contact with one or more the model yeah. games. But it is multiple wins too yeah. against characters, so that's who you fight. So um, um, also the dark doorways things means that they can pop up pretty much any way you want them to. Similar to the other assassins that they're doing yeah. at the moment. So, so. cool. Um, can uh, I see it being taken? I don't know. It's they've kind of tried. A... They've tried yeah. their damnedest to to make it appealing hmm. uh, with the yeah. limitations that they've got. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope so. I I hope it's it can seem worth it. But you will lose that points, and you'll only get a chance to kill a character once, basically. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. yeah, unless he chooses not to attack you back. <laughs> yeah. have another go um, so that's characters uh, pretty, oh, in terms man. of characters pretty good selection awesome. um, yeah. and within that pretty good selection so much adapt adaptability and choice mm -hmm. I mean yeah. you're going to see very very different um, uh, choices even with the same unit choice So, <laughs> and armies are going to be different because of it so yeah, yeah. a big I th I'm I'm impressed by the creativity here. Um, I am as well. I yeah. can see some synergies and some. Uh, there's not too much ability to uh, spam, but I can see some stuff getting. Whoa, that's a lot of rules, a lot of rules, yeah. a lot of rules. Yeah. Um, and and all the rules add up, synergize well. Yeah. So yeah. it's well done on the creative side of things, but it can, mm -hmm. it's going to be so complicated for Pete to. Yeah. If you've never like if you've never come across this army or like one of the first couple of months that you're playing against yeah. in a tournament, you're gonna be like, What? Uh, it's got yeah. that as well. It's got that as oh, well. Man. It's got that as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you, you're really gonna have to look at mm. this this book. I think if you go into any tournament where you can't predict who you're going against, you probably need to read this book to cover yourself if Absolutely. you're not you're, go gonna, you're gonna have to be so. solid with this book. Um, or just mounts. trust your opponent, which is also fine. Yeah. <laughs> which you should be able to do. Um, Absolutely. Character mounts, so the, the palanquin. Uh, Praetorian. Adds, Praetorian. Uh, palanquin. Uh, adds res 5, which is a thing. No armor yeah. uh, extra, uh, but a decent a decent attack mm. base um, as well. Yeah. And you and the model part gains, if you have this extra thing for Bloodford Commander, um, yeah. plus offensive skills, so that goes to 3, plus 1 armor, uh, so whatever you think goes to armor, and Halberd, which it can use. Mm. Uh, so strength six, AP three. So um, I mean that's pretty good. As yeah, a, the only issue, of course, is that you change into a fifty millimeter base, which means you don't fit very easily in a yes. normal infantry unit of twenty mil models. But um, um, the brute is a thing that refers towards rat ogres um, sure. and that type of thing. And there is a fifty fifty by fifty type, so yes. you can see that going in there easily, or exactly other units not so easily if needed. But so. Mm. Yeah, uh, um, but pretty standard. Uh, nothing to shout about, really. I don't yeah. see uh, that's just cool. Whether it's yeah. cheap or not, time will tell. Whatever. But yeah. um, triumphant platform. So there's two types of platforms. There's this one yeah. and a sacred platform. Um, I can't. This is a weird base size. Eighty by eighty. Who has that? Uh, no, I said I wouldn't tray. mention it. Um, oh right. yeah, but I mentioned it. Oh yeah, you did. Terrible decision. <laughs> I guess it's fine for the creatively constructive, but yeah. can you buy an 80 by 80 movement base? So I want to say this is like, I mean, it can't be com com uh, compared, but like the bell. Okay. Uh, mm, no, there's other things that are that. Really? Yeah, no, whispering right, okay. bell. All right, anyway, but uh, it's not yeah. that then. Forget no. said that. It's just <laughs> 80 by 80, just a mad thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. with the with the brute, I uh, my th my this suggestion is, the, yeah, is it goes in a brute army. Yeah, um, this is your vermin hulk bodyguard, I think. Yeah, um, basically. So three but of it's them. Got, but it's got, but it's it's a construct now. So you're getting twelve attacks. I guess I guess there is the doom bell comparisons. You're getting twelve attacks with strength six AP three. Yeah, it's nothing to 
sniff at. No, no as well as all. impact hits. As, uh, as well as what's on it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, three up armor, res five. And it's gigantic being a, as being well. Being a construct, mm-hmm. is, is it, if you're gigantic, you can't add to the armor? Am I right in thinking that? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, Possibly. that's good. Um, so that that is a yeah. slight limitation. So it's res I think, five. yeah, being gigantic, you gain towering presence, yes. which means you can't. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's res five, three up armor, but eight HP is pretty good. So Really good. Um, I, yeah. I think this is re- this is good, and twelve attacks mm. strength six AP three. I I'm not sure about. I think that's that's too good, personally. Yeah. But yeah. it is big size, so maybe that's why. Maybe well, it's, 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 it's is it nine attacks, not twelve. Three. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right then. What are you, yeah. what are you moaning about? Um, moving on. <laughs> Still. <laughs> nice. Math, say. Eh? Cool. Oh man, sacred platform. God, this army book goes on and on. Are we even out of the characters section yet? We're, oh, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Um, so, We're sacred... well past the hour mark as well, aren't we? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> sacred platform. Uh, we are Aegis 5 up, Res. Uh, so 5 up armor, 5 up baby, Res 5. Mm. 7 HP. So big amounts of HP these, these guys are getting. Yeah. Um, so you have the bell or the the pulpit. So these are the two comparisons. Pulpit massively more. Um, mm. So you add on. How much is the the bell? Um, oh, I don't know points wise because they're attacking the the part of the character. Oh yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. But as uh, are so, they on Magisters, the characters. Uh, yeah. So let's go up quickly. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So you can take them on, isn't it? So they are two hundred forty for the. Um, not Magister's the Senate, is it? No, uh, who can uh, take these? I, did, I was just uh, there, I don't know. Um, so, the Swarm Priests. So these swarm the Priests. 240 that, no, for a Whispering Bell or a Pestilent Pulpit for 400. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the Pulpit adds so much. <laughs> um, just... But yeah. So, but they both add different things. So you've got your Cult of, what is it, Cult of Eremon style mm-hmm. one. Uh, yeah. Which has poison, loads of poisoned attacks. It used to be your plan pendulum, uh, basically. Increases, yeah. probably the most important thing up there. Oh, baby. Uh, increases poison attacks from another source, from six up to five up. So that's mm. pretty impressive. And, and that goes back to your whole like eighth edition thing, doesn't it? There it used does, to be a yeah. lot of five up poison in, in that, and they kind of phased them out, and then yeah. wham, it's back. So, yeah. Um, um, sh- it's got less Aegis than the old version. They both used to have four up Aegis. Now they're only five up. So there is that going. Yeah. Am I right in well, thinking the Acolytes... So... Gains born to, so the Acolytes, which are these guys that are on top of, them, of yeah. the thing, you get eight of them, have mm-hmm. paired weapons and poison attacks. So that goes to... 16 attacks. 16 attacks, if... Hitting on fives with poison. Well, well no, yeah, probably. Maybe hitting on fours, but fives. If poison. That's if they're in Plague Disciples, right? Yes. Yeah. They have, and there has to be in Plague Disciples. Yeah. The pestilent pulpit. Okay, there you go. Because they can only go cult. Of sure. So it's eight attacks at whatever strength, with, uh, strength five, uh, which is pretty good, um, or sixteen attacks at strength three, right. but poison attacks. But potentially a rending banner can help out that problem. Yeah. So, and wound and poison with five. So yeah. that's. I mean, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. It is really good. I mean, yeah. You can see, and and you get a bound spell as well, pentagram of pain. Uh, I mean, they did so good. the the acolytes, which were used to be the plague brothers. They 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 did used to have four of them with paired back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which was strength three AP not. Um, and they used to have battle focus and hatred. Um, which doesn't seem to be a thing with these ones, um, and I mean the I- the impact hits as well have been reduced from D six plus two to D three, so there are weaknesses or nerfs as well that are in there. Yeah, it's just you sometimes struggle to see the nerfs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for how sure. Good this is for sure. So I'm trying to like just absolutely both sides. Um, there with so that. the other side yeah. of it is you go in Black Fur veterans or legionnaires, gain an extra channel, which is very nice, uh, and musician. Yeah. So this is your musician. Uh, yeah. The 
the acolytes sick with great weapons. Um, and uh, for the march to the beat, to any uh, to enemy units that are required to make march checks due to the model's unit, blah blah blah, extended to eighteen inches. Yeah, we've seen this in a few places, haven't we? So, so yeah, so um, so harder potentially for thing other things to march, uh, mm. and a few and another bounce spell and. Um, Friendly units within twelve. Six in, just, six it's six like plus. an engine of the gods, but not yeah, quite as. Not quite. It's not. There. Well, it's it's against everything though. You have got Age of Six up against combat as well, which is better yes. than the engine. So, but it's it's, it's still decent. I twelve think inches is, rather than six is. Hey, a, a free six up, just on yeah. on anything is is really Especially good. Especially if you're a certain lucky sixes. There we go. Here we go. That's there my guy. Are. That's my guy. Yeah, that's what you're taking then. Um. Right. Cool. Wow, it's only three hours and we're finally in cool. Wow. Right, so it does get a little bit simpler from now. Oh, thank goodness. And yeah. one thing to say from the characters and from the model rules, like army wad rules and stuff, is that they all synergize with each other in different ways and there is yeah. loads of them. Um, but yeah. once you get past that bit, this mm. becomes a bit simpler to understand. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we had to go into so much detail with everything that's come previous yeah. because of these having certain things, and we can refer back to the old rules when we go through these. Yeah, so so the pros of that obviously creativity really good, uh, mm. the customizability is really yeah. really good. Um, really good on this synergy is amazing. Synergy is amazing. Um, probably means that there are going to be loopholes uh, that get mm -hmm. exploited to make it a little bit seemingly OP, if not. It'll genuine. need playtesting and Genuinely balancing OP. as it goes. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it will definitely seem OP, whether it is or not, is time will tell. Um, yeah. And it also makes it really, really difficult for new players to get grasp because there are so many different things in this so yeah. it has pros and cons of what they've done I, Massively. for me it's quite refreshing uh, I, I think it's fine I, I'm liking what I see yeah. I mean as an opponent to them as far as I'm concerned but <laughs> yeah. I also think fair play it's, yeah. it's try it out you've got to give it a chance it is so, different yeah. um, and it's yeah. very very different to how the old one played as well so yeah. but um, let's not jump to the conclusion we've no, still no, no, got no, a whole I, half a book to go yet no absolutely but just to, <laughs> as a, to people that are here looking yeah. at that thinking oh my god that they've only got yeah. halfway through um, yeah. actually it becomes a lot simpler from now there are yeah. lots of things that have done before but yeah, uh, yeah. let's go on to core and look at let's... the actual units that these guys can mm. can do stuff with so yeah. you've got your slingers, which is a <laughs> uh, a sling uh, in in here. First off, your vermin, is this, v lights, gone, <laughs> velitates. It's not velitates. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm going off Rome total yeah, war. Right, and right. I always used to say velitates. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm, I have a bit of an issue with the fluff on that actually, because your slingers were slingers and your velitates were javelins. Uh, so to call them all velitates is a little bit weird. But that's fine. <laughs> and besides, you're right. It doesn't say velitates. It says velites. So am I pronouncing it right? I don't have a clue anymore. <laughs> who, knows, who knows? But it was spelt the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. So these right. guys are your throwing weapons or slingers. Um, yeah, yeah. Paired weapons. So I mean, yeah, they're they're, they're gonna they're die if they get in combat anyway. Of, Paired weapons won't help them a lot. Yeah. Cheap scoring. Um. Or, mm. or chaff, however you want to. And let's it. mention for the first time Res 2. Yes, um, this is where it becomes first the appearance. Most, most apparent. So, yeah, but I mean, we already said they're going to die if you get into them anyway. So. Terrible skills, for the most part as well, and this is a common theme, defensive skill is less than offensive skill. Um, yeah. For a lot, uh, Res is 2 or less than before, and yeah. strength isn't that high. Uh, with yeah. a lot of AP Agility is still a respectable... Four, yes. though, so yeah, yeah. So, um, but I mean, 125 points. Who cares, right? It's cheap as chips. Uh, right? Cheap as chips. Slinging some mm. pew pew. Yeah. Uh, the legionnaires. Uh, that seems really to be that. one that goes around everywhere, doesn't it? Legionaries, yeah. Legionaries. Yes. This is fun. Um, <laughs> sixty. Yeah, these are your vermin guard. I guess. I'm, I'm gonna look at the max model for most of these because you're gonna oh, no, be sorry, taking max. No, these are your raw arms, sort of thing. Yeah, your um, spear guys, right? Yeah, shield your, spear your, or your parry spears. Uh, so, yeah, uh, interesting. The parry, I, the parry is more than spear. 
I, I'm interested in that. They, they, oh, yeah, but, it should be, especially within this mm. army. Within this, when you got a defensive <laughs> two, yeah. Harry is amazing. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's the right way around. Again, whether that's still too cheap, I'm not sure, but um, sure, it is the right way sure. around. Uh, banner enchantment, yeah, yeah cool. Uh, basic. There's not much to talk and about. And yeah, you got your eagle standards in in the core section. Yeah. Definitely. So these again, these are again, your numbers. Um, mm. Without number, which was the thing where they can come back. Um, yes. Uh, so you need a vermin senator, so that makes him even more important. And I feel like throughout the book there is like lots of things that go. You need a vermin senator for this. Um, or you need something of so, this yeah, in yeah. order to get this. Yeah. So at the minute, only one point per model. Um, considering you're going to get lots of models, I can see why that's so low. But uh, yeah, uh, that might even go up depending on how good that is. Yeah. So it, they do have um, cohort coordination. I just go out to the Velitates unit. Yeah, they all have this cohort coordination, which uh, is your um, fighting extra rank thing. Yes. Yeah, d- um, two instances so. off. Uh, if you're steadfast, if you've got spears, if you've got spears, it wasn't two instances. If you're steadfast, was it? I'm pretty sure it was something like that. That's what... have Carry on. Okay, yeah. So cobalt <laughs> is something to do with fight an extra. I'm pretty sure it's a two instances of fight an extra rank if you've got steadfast, or an okay. extra one if you've got steadfast. Um, Black fur veterans. Um, so your chaps that uh, oh two instances you're absolutely right it was two instances I misread that yeah yeah fine. so slightly killier uh, guys over mm. here uh, again with these are these are your vermin guard yeah, yeah. Uh, with so the hellbats yeah again that sort of theme continues with uh, higher offensive strength than resident defensive um, heavy armor shield though so for core units you're pretty good maximum of fifty um, mm. so you can go in either close formation testudo. Uh, so plus one armor. So that's your shields up sort of guys yeah. mm-hmm. um, from shooting. So ex- that's yeah. really cool. That's really cool um, yeah. because you're gonna. That means you're gonna better chance of keeping those fifty uh, yeah. from the start. Um, yeah. Line formation as well. Uh, you get re rolls. <laughs> you're not gonna wounds. pronounce that. Phalanx. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well done. Yeah. I'm not sure why this has suddenly gone Greek. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just gone Roman to Greek in, in like uh, one random entry. It's all the I mean, same, isn't it? I guess Testudo is, is <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm, yeah, tap out. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, comments like that really like, annoy people, aren't they? Ah, it's all the same. Greek, <laughs> exactly. Roman, it's all the same to oh, me. Geez. Oh, jeez. All right, you can do the rest of the book yourself. <laughs> yeah, he's off. Um, <laughs> the model must re roll to wound rolls of one with close combat attack. Really good. Really good, oh, and man, that's just... so good. When you're strength four as well, yeah, you've actually got a decent chance of hitting on threes, maybe. And this or, is the or, thing: is that you know, you've got additional things threes, to the already yeah. things yeah. which have rules on. So yeah. uh, just crazy to me, but yeah. yeah. Uh, bodyguard, Vermis Senator. That is the general, yeah. very specifically. <laughs> oh, sure. It means you can't uh, take the uh, dictator but, yeah. as well. Uh, and you get great weapons Senator. as well. So you're already strength four, yeah. AP one, or, uh, agility high. Um, yeah, they got five. This is, they, they still have that, to be fair. But, yeah. yeah, this is a pretty good unit at, at a 50 man. I'm not sure what the points cost come out to that, but I can see a few, um, at least one 50 man get, unit. You used to get 20 for 240 points. Now you get 25, 25 for, two, for 255. So yeah. I guess it's similar. And 10 points is the same yeah. additional models. So, so it yeah. probably comes out roughly the same. Yeah, but. yeah. Uh, your slaves, three points. Okay, just, go up, just go up slightly. Just there was one up. thing I just know. Units with an upgrade mark with SP count towards special instead of core. So yeah, if you go for the blood fur, blood fur Praetorian upgrade, yep. you're a special unit, not a core unit. Did you already say that? Uh, no. Oh, okay, cool. Well, well said. Yeah. Mm. Um, vermin sw- slaves. Uh, three points. Oh, there's model some rejoicing extra. in this. One. Eighty. I was right. Eighty. <laughs> I was right. I know. And uh, Stat Rat was dancing in the streets when I told him he could get his eighty slaves back. But yeah, so I mean, I had to pull him out from the streets. Yeah, so, literally. You yeah, know. Uh, mm. under the tunnel. Put some clothes on, man. <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic set. Right? Um, yeah. So you get an extra tunnel marker as well. So that's this is cool. these guys. That's where the, you want to be coming from, sort of thing. And then yeah. I'm pretty sure these are the guys that uh, with can keep coming from the tunnels as well. Uh, just class. I, uh, I I like everything about this. I mean, terrible stats. 
but just numbers. I'm not numbers. sure they can start in tunnels, though, these. Uh, they they okay. do when they die, though, don't they? Life is cheap. Uh, when they die, yeah, but I'm not sure that they... Oh, okay. Cool. They don't have the ability to start in tunnels. No, fair I enough. I don't think. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, they're going to die. Yeah, they, don't have, they don't have tunnel reserve. Sure. So they don't start uh, in tunnels. So they're going to yeah. die, and then they're going to come back, mm. basically. Yes, um, they can come out of the... Yeah, and, yeah. Well, so let's do a quick thing. They're so, just the diggers. They're the diggers. What's 50 times it? 150. So for 285 points, you have 80 models. Yeah, they're, they're, these are slightly more expensive than the old version, but... With, yeah, I mean, you, they keep maybe. coming back. So, mm. yeah. Mm. Uh, so cool. I mean, terrible, but... They add something yeah. for sure. Who cares, right? Yeah. Are they scoring? Uh, no. no. They're not. They better not be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, footpads are gone. Should mention that while we're in core because we're about to move on. Footpads yeah. are gone. Um, and like are they I say, not? The are, plate, they, are they not what the they, the valise? No, because footpads didn't have. Sh- oh, they did have slings. No, you could be right in that case. Um, yeah. No, in that case, no. You're absolutely right. It's just the plate brotherhoods that are gone. Hmm. Yeah, but they've right. but they've been combined, haven't they? So I guess I just never saw footpads as a shooting slinger unit. Yeah, they were just like no min, one really used them. Like min that, size, so. weren't they? Yeah, used, yeah, they were yeah. your scoring unit. So, but yes, yeah. so uh, I, I think probably they used to be ten, didn't they? Footpads. Yes, and uh, they used so to have potential 15. for vanguard. Not that anyone so, yeah. probably used that, but sure. Yeah, there's no vanguard there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, take. From I can't that. have a standard bearer now, though. Take so. from that what you will. Um, mm. But yes, so on to special, and this is—I mean—we've gone through that really quickly because as, yeah. as much as we can. Shadow yeah. first stalkers. These, I think, are your gutter blades. I think. Yes. Um, your skirmishing hard target. They've got your tunnel reserve option. Yep. Um, which is cool. Um, so these can start um, in in the tunnels. Yeah. Um, um, Poison, close combat, attacks. and you re-roll, you re-roll your tunnel, your ambush thing as well. Yes. So you don't even need the special item for that. Yes. Uh, yeah. So sound. Um, so you, they're your ambushes through your tunnels. Uh, you get a bit mm. of shooting on them, which is again, it's not like uh, strength seven, whatever. Um, but they're yeah. war machine hunters for sure, and um, and chaff and things like that. Hundred thirty. They're, they're quite. They're cheaper though because you used to get five for one hundred and twenty points. Yeah. Now you get ten for one hundred and thirty points. I mean, res two, though, right? One, I get. I yeah, I guess so. Is, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, if you attack them, yeah. <laughs> but now there are only eight points for an additional model instead of eighteen. But I guess yeah. why would you want more than ten? I'm not sure. So yeah, I, the 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 unit size for ten seems enough. Like twenty yeah. to come through and and ambush on seems a bit of a big base size. Mm. But it's your own. You might you might like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so there your ambushes. Uh, plague disciples. Here you go. Here we go. And this These are is, the Plague Brotherhood. Combined I'm, I with am the sure disciples. everyone has tuned in for this. <laughs> Absolutely. How have we Plague should disciples put a, been a comment in. And we will well, confer, confirm um, compare for this one, um, yeah. even though it is quite hard. They're still they're still res three or res three instead of res four, right? Yes. Yes. Is it? So they're a res. higher res at least. Yeah. Um, they're body... not. They've lost hard target because they're not light troops anymore. Yes. So it is. To- it's a ranked up unit properly now. Yes. So they that are changes them entirely. They're... Just that. So it's it's plague brotherhood and plague disciples of old combined. In one. It, re- it In really one. is the com- combination yes. of the two. So yes. So actually, that's quite a nerf on the old plague yeah. disciples. Um, it's actually weird because Plague Brotherhood, the unit entry is gone, but Plague Disciples are actually now Plague Brotherhood. Yeah, and but Plague with, Disciples are actually gone. With the, <laughs> the extra, old Plague but Disciples are gone. Yeah, so you can even if use that makes sense, yeah. great weapons for free or yep. blood blocks, blood pox blades. Uh, so say ped that weapons, quick ten times. I know, but ped weapons and poison attacks. Um, so yeah, yeah. either strength five with two attacks or mm-hmm. strength three with poison and three attacks. So yeah. and cult of Eremon always. So their agility three. So the plague disciples used to have the plague flail, which would do an agility ten or whatever yeah. attack with toxic attacks. Now they're slow, but if you roll to hit against them and get ones, you're getting that toxic attack that way. Yeah. So it's quite a different concept to it. Yeah, really. and I think um, that 
you, you know, the old plague disciples of three lots of 12 or 14, whatever, are gone. Yes, it's they, safe they to say they are not in the vermin swarms anymore. They're, it is all no. about ranked up units. Um, mm -hmm. So twenty to forty, probably you're going to be looking at the thirty marker, like the well, bigger I, units at least, because you want your um, your, yeah. your sacred platforms, really, don't you? Um, uh, to go with them. So yes, what, you know, bodyguard sacred very... platforms. Although you could yeah. have, you, I mean, if you have those sacred platforms, you get ranks easier. So that is a thing. Yeah. Um, so you have bodyguard sacred platform, so that's obviously where it's meant to go. Uh, if you do have that, you're then fearless as well, mm -hmm, uh, which mm -hmm. has its drawbacks. Um, but yeah, uh, life is cheap scoring, um, cult of Eremon, so if you keep attacking, yeah. then you get all that stuff. So yeah. well, One thing that I know Stat I was a bit bothered by with this is that the um, Plague Brotherhood used to be max 50 models, now they're max 40, so he's got 10 Brotherhood yeah. that just aren't, aren't useful to him anymore. Sure. But I guess 50 of them is quite scary, so it was probably the right move. Yeah, I think so, with all the things going on. But um, So yeah, so that is what Plague Disciples are now. They are a ranked-up unit now. Yes. They, they are, are no longer the light troops, OP, shizzle levels. But yeah. Mr. Mr. Trent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Your life were. has changed. <laughs> uh, it is, and... And that is it's a big thing. That's a big thing them yeah. them going. So yeah. 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 Um giant rats, uh yeah. pff, well, there's not much well, to say about they're them. They're giant rats, aren't yeah, they? They're, they're, they're squishy, they're chaff. Yeah. A devastating charge plus one attack. Yeah, that's that's cool. I, I, I like uh, I like it when they try and encourage people to charge chaff. I, I that is a big thing for me. Yeah, massively. Um, you can make them bigger. Um mm, bigger things and, plus yeah. one they be in resilience, so uh mm. there's that. Uh, if that's what you want, yeah. but I don't think it's going to change them from being chaff. No, but I don't. Either. I don't think many people are going to take more than ten in a unit. I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing a lot there, but yeah, because I mean, movement seven fourteen with swift ride means you can get to places. Yeah, but. Well, maybe not the Swiss drive. Like, if you get, as well get for somewhere this, with a charge, yeah, you're dead. For this direct <laughs> thing, you have to have you have to have a fetch move rasher. You don't have fifteen. Um, you have to have a fetch flesh master, flesh master on um, the army um, list, yeah. In included, and I'm somewhere. like, yeah, yeah, that's adding a lot of it's more points for that. Yeah. And what do you actually get? Three points per model is quite steep for making a yeah. very squishy unit into a slightly squishy unit. Yeah. Well, probably still quite squishy though. It's, it's so. strength four AP two, and mm -hmm. res three. At, yeah. I mean, high agility. The high agility is a thing. So I mean, you'd go. That's where the jokes. Are. But you're adding a. You're having to add a lot to make it an okay unit. Yeah. I don't. See, I don't really see many people going for that option. But uh, could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um. Right. So we'll do the next two kind of combined because there's not much to talk about. Yep. But um. So the brutes are now are the rat ogres. So Fetis yep. and Mamillo. Uh, Fetis mm -hmm. are the fighters, and the Mamillo are the shooters. Um, yep. And uh, Mamillo classically have the bigger base, um, uh, uh, like the old is it Thunder Hulk? Is what they used to call uh, it. Vermin Hulks and Thunder Hulks, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, bigger base can shoot uh, and have the, yeah same sort of stats, um, but mm. uh, can shoot as well. So bigger, bigger brutes and less of them. Yeah. Um, the biggest change for me is fighting extra rank and the fact you can have 15. I don't know whether you could have 15 before. You could have 12 before. Yeah. Um, so, um, But the yeah. fighting extra rank means... That's cool. Is awesome. Really cool. Um, mm. The biggest nerf to them is uh, only two attacks. Yeah, they're not fearless anymore as well. Um, <laughs> I mean, not being fearless can be a good thing, though, sometimes in yeah, being able yeah. to flee. So... Uh, I quite like that personally. Another thing is that they don't have uh, swift reform anymore, and they can't take musicians. Yes. So you are a little bit stationary, or mm. you know, you've got to make sure you place them right. But what um, I really like is that you're you're encouraged to go three wide in this, mm -hmm. and, and as three many deep. deep as possible. Or as, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. A, a nine units of nine, I guess, would be the min max in most mm -hmm. efficient thing. Um, yeah. And, you know, res 5, uh, nothing mm -hmm. to sniff at. Um, no, no. You can put them against some strength 3 stuff and they'll take a while to get yeah, killed. Yeah. No armour. Uh, so they, they, once they do get wounded, they're going to get they're gonna get yeah. stay wounded. But, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I quite like this change. It's it's a different use of... of a, Plus, of a we've model. already seen characters that can go in these units and give them buffs. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Um, yeah we won't right. go through all the different things for the Mamillo Brutes. Uh, that just we already have, talked about the weapons, yeah, haven't we? We've already talked about it. They have the options. I think quick to fire Mamillo, is really good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mamillo is, I think, is a ode to gladiator combat in Roman, I think. I don't think you have okay. Mamillo gladiators, but I'm probably making um, myself look stupid by saying that. No. So, so good that they have quick to fire, um, although I know yeah. that Giselle will say that if you have quick to fire, you yes. lose it. So um, yes. there will be stuff that takes out. But I quite like that as a standard rule for everything. Yeah, oh man, possible. they've got an eagle standard. I was wrong about only core units. Ah, okay, fair go. enough. Um, yeah. So yeah, so the different stuff, obviously they're the shooters, they're the... The uh, fighters. No so. battle focus anymore. Um, no. They used to have battle focus, um, these no. guys. So um, that's, yeah, yeah I, I don't know whether. I, I, I like the change and, and in the mm. fact that you're going to have to use them very differently. So you won't be. Yeah, yeah. So with, with the Brutes, uh, as opposed to Rattigans, you're not going to have a 4x2 uh, no. unit size and try and maximize the, sh- the attacks that way. You're going to have a, you're going to have a mm. 3 by or whatever. Um, yeah. But. They, they will add ranks. They will add all mm. that stuff. So and oh, scoring as well. Res five scoring. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, mm. So yeah, that's the brutes. Um, the drill team. Ooh. Legion. This this is, is, I think this is kind of new. Really. I was going to say this. This is yeah. going to be very new, a completely new unit because of the the tunneling. The tunnels, yeah, mm. and stuff. So yeah, um, massively. Uh, so yeah, so in terms of it itself, uh, strength six grind attacks is all right. D three, but that's not what it's for. No. no. Um, so it's it's in here for this uh, back back to the burrows uh, mm. thing. Uh, obviously, war platform. So it goes in vermin legionnaires and V lights. However you say it. Mm. Um, back to the burrows. Once per game, at the end of the owner's magic fa- uh, movement phase, uh, the model may be removed from the battlefield. And placed internal reserve before the unit is removed, loses all scoring and until it returns to the battlefield. This can be done if the model's unit is not engaged or shaken or has fifty or fewer health points. Yeah, so basically including this in a unit means you can go underground for a bit and yeah. pop up in one of the other tunnels. Yeah, but you do lose scoring as a result. And you can only go in Legion. Only until it Valibates, until it returns so. to the battlefield. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. So you get it once you're back on back on board. Unless you do it in turn five or six, I think. But, yeah. yeah, I would imagine so. There'll be some. There'll be some. I think that was a fire in the tunnels yeah. right at the like six hours ago when we were talking about. It. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, ha- include <laughs> it's this. It's all right. It's quite this colourful. In the unit to pop up and mm. dance around like the Helmor. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Tunnel gunners. So mm. again, we won't go too much. Into the weapon types, like yeah. so. When so experiment weapons, you've got all the weapon types like you had before. Um, you've missed out the grenade. I know, I know, I know. I'm just okay. going for for speed. Okay. Uh, not much change in that. Um, I guess three HP might be a change for that. Um, but um, and yeah, no, they've got an extra HP now. Um, no, four they haven't got ages from what? Yeah, they don't have the ta- the tag along rule is gone now. So yeah. if you're close to a ranked up unit, you don't get an ages. Which I guess is good, I think, because I think that was a bit. But yeah, a bit um, hard. made you yeah. Yeah, and so uh, what, make of that what you will. Uh, they're still there in some form. They've just changed yeah. in terms of uh, how durable they are. Really. Yeah. Um, uh, Ignifier grenadiers. So uh, you should sure. be grenadiers anyway. Yeah, just grenadiers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, they they've got a whole new weapon which wasn't in the armory, funnily enough. Yeah. Um, deep fire grenades, but they 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 similar in terms of what they do yeah um i mean i think they, they don't wound automatically on fours anymore i think that was still a thing in the old version i'm just going to check um the grenadier but they got strength six as a, a thing for that so gas globes they used to have gas globes which automatically set on four yeah. plus to wound but yeah now now they're pretty much always hitting yeah um, strength six, i mean so. with two shots each you you probably the min size unit will be seen uh, I, I like not need to go unit. much much yeah. higher than that. There's three in this army. Um, so again, well, the thing is, you may have two shots hitting on fives to begin with, but you're accurate and you're quick to fire. Yeah, so, so you're probably gonna be hitting on fives, and once you've hit, strength six is deadly. Absolutely. So, so, um, so slightly less on the AP two, I think, sh- knowing that. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued that, yeah. as to why these guys are res three as opposed to. Res two, sure. Yeah. It probably doesn't matter really. No, nah. that much. It, I think it's just to keep them durable mm. as durable as possible. Maybe, Maybe. but Maybe. And who knows? Um, 
so yeah, so they're there. Uh, so the Doom Spark devices. Oh, just when you think you're on the downhill slope, you come across the Doom Spark. We are devices. close, guys. We are close. Having a swig, and we're, we're close. Yeah. Um, so Doom Spark devices. So uh, these. Uh, I'm not going to say this is your Doom because no. it's kind of been split up, hasn't it? It's been split into two entries, basically. Yeah. The, the, so, dread, the dread, dread mill. Yeah. So yeah. this is one of them. Uh, mm. Movement. Six this is your ten. lightning rod shooting one. Yeah. Everything that used to be shooting about the dreadmill is now this. Yeah. But neither are single models anymore. They're one to three models in units now, which is crazy. Yeah. It, it suggests that people, I mean, obviously you can still take one for 160 points, great. But now you're almost a unit of chariots. Yeah. Instead um, of being single models. Which they, with this, though, you're not uh, light troops, I don't think. Um, no. So if you do add units, you've got a wheel and stuff, and that's going to make it harder to put them in the places that you want them. Um, yeah. Slightly less for more, but probably that's not enough to like because of the lateral movement and stuff that you'd lose out on. That's probably not enough to be mm -hmm. beneficial. Um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, so yeah, lightning attacks, which is the thing we said about pops up here and there um, for it. Uh, yeah, you've got no, no impact hits on this version, which is interesting. No. So this is the one that's going to run around the battlefield and use Darkstone Generator to try mm. and shoot as many things as possible within yep. six inches of it itself. So uh, you don't yeah. have to do it, but so it's, it's a choice that you, whether you use this, the um, mm. the thing or not. But everything within everything and all mm. is in bold, yourself, yeah. specifically. Uh, everything within six inches of the model, including things that are engaged and not in your Archelion Ar site, whatever, um, take yeah. a lightning attack, uh, yeah. a D6 lightning attacks. So what that means is um, you do uh, you roll for the hits for everything. Yeah. Uh, so if you roll a five, it applies to everything within six. So everything mm. takes five or one yeah. or whatever. Um, but the strength for each of the shots is different, which I, I quite like. Is it's like a yeah, lightning it's... thing, so different things again, mm. different. Yeah, the strength is strength, D6, whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, strength is d six, shots are d six, um, uh, within six inches, and you want to do the trial and terror thing. It's d six plus one strength and AP. So yeah, um, and and the hits are not randomised for Callus. So basically, you're hitting the. You, you, it depends what's within six inches. Yeah. If only the enemy is within six inches, you, and they're in combat with your unit you don't roll for your unit yes it's just the what's within six inches yeah, so I think so, that's cool. um it's interesting march 10 mm. can you uh, can you march and shoot probably not no because you're not quick to fire so yeah. i'd probably is it it's not that it takes much a while to get to where you want to be yeah <laughs> doesn't it i mean it used the dreadmill used to be eight inches advance and march yeah so I guess you march 10 until you're close and then you get six inches to I shoot guess, six inches. Yeah. But it's I, not I a lot. That's not a yeah. lot. But then you wouldn't want it to be a lot, would you? Because if it can yeah. march 20, then yeah. or like move, if it could move 10, 12, mm. then you think you're already going, well, that's a massive threat range for all my, yeah. all my elves that die within six inches. Or so. Yeah, and for 160 points, a res 5. Chariot, yeah. you know, it's all right. No, For a farmer so. as well. So, um, yeah, we, we'll move over straight to the um, other uh, one yeah. of those to compare it straight, which is out yeah, of Yeah, we'll thing. come back. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in a different category as well. Yeah, um, the so the chariots. Dreadmill Chariot itself. So this is the combat guy. Yeah, and again, it's a lot cheaper. So it's been split into two, and literally one half of its rules has gone one way. And the other half of the rules have gone the other way and made two cheaper options. Yeah. Um, so the biggest thing, really, really low advance march Ooh, baby. Um, yeah. and res four. So mm. you're kind of hoping not... that these make up for yeah. that. Um, you are. But uh, I'm not sure it does. So unstable engine no. only adds to the movement and stuff, really. Yeah. Um, you do have light troops as a unit, though. So there yeah. is that. Um, um, so that yeah. is good. That is good mm. uh, because that adds a lot if you're luxurious. But only, only movement five. However, uh, the movement five thing you um, because of unstable engine. You when you're charging, you add a d6 to your charge roll. So sure. 
uh, you're actually charging five plus three d six. Yes, which is which is good. Good. Is you good. need that. You really need um, that. To the march as well. You, if you say I'm not going to charge, I want to march. You get mm. d six plus march. So that is uh, counting that somewhat. It adds to it. Yeah. It is not reliable, but it adds to it. And uh, as far as I know, we there has never been a plus D six march unit. So that's no. quite a new. It's unit a new concept. A new yeah. Concept, so well done for that. Mm-hmm. Kudos. Uh, mm-hmm. And and when they die, uh, or when a model was removed, actually not the unit, um, D six uh, strength four AP zero hits within to everything within six inches. Including its own unit, though. So including <laughs> including the model's unit itself. So yeah. So um, so imagine could that be a chain reaction? So if one yeah. model dies, kills another model, I guess. kills another model, and they just keep on killing them until you've got no one left. I guess. Yeah. Because yeah, you could just kill them off one by I one. Guess so, okay. so yeah. So if um, you've got three models with, and one of them only has one HP left, you could just move them up to an enemy unit. Uh, hope that you lose one last wound on you and then chain reaction do three lots of hits on your enemy <laughs> unit you've moved close to. That would be fun. Love that. I mean, um, yeah, these are not as good as the old dreadmills. No, they're not. But they are a third of the price. Yeah. And they are so, all about impact hits. They've grown yeah. attacks one, which is nothing. Um, mm-hmm. But impact hits... It's, it's gone down so, from grind attacks D3 as well. Yeah, so... I mean, they're... I guess you, you suicide bombers, yeah. right? Yeah, there is another problem though, which we obviously won't mention, which is the base size. So, yeah. Oh, it's and not... considering it's been split into two, I'm really confused by that. It's not by a hundred. No, so all your dreadmill models, it's not the same so base. Go up. Yeah, that one's the same. What a terrible decision. I don't get it, but we can't linger on it, can we? So. No, we won't. But. And, yeah. yeah, and like we said, there are some. There might even be some that we've uh, on purpose missed as well. So, absolutely, there's, there's we're trying not to make too much of it. But, uh, but. something we, uh, well, I personally don't like. So it's yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, so those are your dreadmills. Um, yeah, vermin artillery. Uh, this so one's it, gone the other way. It's gone from two entries to one. Yes, um, which is fair enough. Well, it's kind of well, though, yeah, is it? Because it. It's got the mm. options, so I guess true, it kind true. of is, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's the artillery. you either got the, the cannon version or the lightning cannon or the blade catapult, really. Yeah. Uh, although the Scorch It Ordnance isn't actually... It's not plague anymore, it's, is it? It's your flaming catapult, I guess. Sure, so that has changed a bit then. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, similar to the flamethrower, no AP. Um, hmm. Which is different because the old one used to have AP. It was toxic-y, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so and the trial and terror is a higher range. Six six by six catapult is decent to have though. Oh yeah, of um, course. Of course it does, yeah. four. Um, then you've got the cannon, which is a. It isn't a standard cannon. No. It's only strength seven AP four. Hmm. I it? guess that the beauty of having the brackets rules is that every cannon can be different. Yes, that, that's what they wanted. Though, yeah, isn't yeah. It? So, so it is a, a, a yeah. probably slightly not as good cannon. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm not far off. Strength seven isn't it, no, in it's still reality. It's still much more in D three. So and it, strength seven AP four is still looming nice. Yeah, in so. in reality, it's not that different to strength 10 yeah. AP 10 whatever but it is I, it I is think it's okay knowing. though yeah. like going back to the brackets thing it means every cannon can be different with these rules yeah. so it gives them the because the, I mean it can potentially be a problem if every cannon has to be the same yeah but so, but then again with that so the basic is slightly less but the trial and terror you get multiple with D6 for a cannon yeah. which hasn't yes. been seen for a while so um, no, but obviously no. That comes with a massive mishap. Mm. You, yeah. Rolls of one and two mishap. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you're going to hit more. And do Although f- it does mean one and two on the misfire chart, the standard misfire chart, if you can't get those results, then you will never stop yourself firing. The only yeah, way but of you stopping might yourself die. firing is killing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but with res four, HP four, no armor, yeah. that could very well kill you yeah. and probably should. So, yeah. So, 
it's one of those. It's one of those. Mm. Um, I think you still want to see him popping up. So. Yeah, I th- there's there's always use for a cannon um, mm. in some armies, so uh, mm. it's worth yeah worth thinking about. Um, mm. So going to back to this bread and games, don't get it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not going to explain it again. <laughs> You're on your own. Um, Stygian Earthbreaker. I think um, this is completely new, isn't it? I think so because it's got it's the, to do with the drilling, drilling and underground yeah. stuff. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Uh, again, um, not a combat thing. So no, it's not, it, it's not a mover either. It's yeah. about six, March 6th. So. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm saying it's not a combat thing. Kind of is. It could be. Uh, 2d3 mm. isn't terrible at strength 6 AP4. No, and um, impact hits as well. And impact so. hits with it. So uh, yeah. uh, don't discount that completely, but its main focus is the... Mm. The Earthbreaker drill and underground arrival. Yeah. Uh, so and having add some tunnel marker as well. Yeah. So so having one adds a tunnel marker, tunnel marker, and you can choose uh, uh, the model can be in the reserve. And once per game, the uh, the model's unit may be removed from the battlefield and placed in the tunnel reserve and go through that sort of whole yeah. process again. It's also it's also got stubborn, which you don't see on its own. Yes, hardly ever. Um, which is cool. I mean, I know you're only just been six or potentially seven if you've got a senator nearby, but um, if you've got one of those mini eagle standard BSBs, you know, re-rollable, stubborn, always yeah. nice. Yeah, for and sure. And Res 5, you could stick it somewhere and it might hold something up. So, but yeah. yes, it's all about the underground and drilling and stuff. Yeah, so. So, that, so that was the underground. So you can pop up, you can start in the tunnel, you can come up and then you can go down again, blah, blah, blah. Use all that. It's actually, it's actually hell of a chaff unit if you can stick it in front yeah, of something. Yeah, it is. Because it gains plus three armor. If they yeah. charge it, then you've got a one-up armor save against anything that charges it. So yeah, this is you may the, stick the, around, the so. Earthbreaker drill. So, uh, yeah. grind attacks against units engaged with front mm. facing, which is fair enough, and then plus three armor against melee attacks oh, engaged cool. with front facing, or shooting. Uh, so, which is one-up armor. Where it would be, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm a six, one up, yeah. Uh, res five, six, uh, one, yeah, res five, to one up armor is pretty good. You can, just, you, can you can just pop it up anywhere, yeah, yeah. you could really halt someone's so, with that. I mean, 290 as well is it's not cheap, pr- it's not cheap. I, I was gonna say it's pretty cheap for something that is res five, one up armor, when five, five HP, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, think, no, I, I know, but I was like, I agree, it could be more but, expensive. But as a chaff, I guess it's an expensive chaff, but yeah, uh, inexpensive. It doesn't do a lot unit. back to them, does it? Yes. So, yeah, yeah. well, it still does a bit, but yeah. So yeah, interesting <laughs> unit. I'm I'm excited to see this I'm one intrigued. being used. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, predominantly for the hassle, I think. Yeah. Um, and then our last unit. Yeah, just skip in the dreadmills because we've already yes. done them. In case our, anyone's tuned in at this point. Yeah, yeah. Our last random. unit. <laughs> <sighs> Um, oh man! I, I like this one. Do you? Do yes. you? Okay. I'm not saying I don't, but I haven't really made an assessment yet. So it's lost its advanced 3D6 um, unless kind of. you are underworld beast. So which you can do yeah. for free. So if you yes. liked that, the old one. Um, mm-hmm. Although I, I, so if you like random movement three, uh, mm-hmm. then you'll love underworld beast because it's free, a free option, and it um, mm-hmm. gives you extra attacks as well. Right. Yes. You are a slightly bigger base. And I don't know what the base size was before. Um, it was sixty by hundred, so, so they've given that as an if option. If you like the old, and model. this is, I don't mind when you. Why have the others not got when that? you do that? Yeah, I do not. This mind. is fine. <laughs> yeah. So if you liked it the, the old way, go for that. But also strength seven. Mm. Used to be strength six AP three. Yeah. Oh, strength seven AP three. Got an extra stuff. Um, mm. But you got your pit masters, which are cool. Yeah. Um, running around. Um, so. You've only got three D three attacks as opposed to three D six yeah. attacks. Unless you go underworld so, beast, sure, you get the extra attack. So um, I would personally go underworld beast. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no, the the underworld gives you plus three attacks. It doesn't give you three D six attacks. No, so sure, yeah, yeah. it gives you three D three plus three. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, it's similar. Yeah. Um, but yes, so uh, I mean, the pit masters gives you extra attacks anyway. Uh, strength got... five, AP two, yeah. Pit master, singular, actually, yeah. Oh, pit master, yeah. But two attacks, yeah. it does. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, um, but he's, uh, uh, beast. he's got one less fortitude as well. Fortitude five up yeah. instead of four up. Um, and um, he doesn't have stubborn anymore. What's so. the price compared? 
Uh, used to be three, four, five. Now three hundred. So that's yeah. gone down. So it's fair. I like him. I think he's quite a fun thing to mm. have in it. Um, and you, with the yeah. random movement or not. And you can now have it. three instead of two. So that's yeah. good. I do quite like that. If you you hated that absolutely with the random movement, um, and mm. it it cost you games for whatever reason, then yeah. you cannot have it. I like that mm. as well. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Um. A good one to end on because it's quite quite uncontroversial, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, that is it. And obviously, you have the quick reference sheet at the bottom, which oh yeah. my goodness! I think I think overall, well done to the guys who yes. created this. It, it's so. amazing. It's so creative. It's so awesomely fun. And I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun with it. Is it OP? Is it under P? I can't see it being UP. No, um, it's not. Yeah. But there's got to be balancing. So bear with it. Yeah. Give it a try. Best thing to do is play test it and see what happens. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. and the, the probably the biggest thing to come out of this, if you have watched this whole thing in one session, uh, well done. You can have a beer on mm. me. Mm. Which he will buy you the next time he sees you. Uh, yeah. I promise you. You promise. <laughs> right don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs> give us some comments on what you think we love reading your comments we're yes. so grateful for them um i've, I've hinted at, about us doing an army list building video which we may well do i don't know about the time scales for that but we'll see and um, we may even have a, a vs civil war at some point and we'll see about that in the future we didn't get around to it with the dread elves but we might get around to it with vs we'll see uh yeah give us some comments and hope you enjoyed it Thank you for your time, Lucky Sixes. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you, you guys, uh, as well. Like I said, um, thanks very much for your support over the last sort of three, four months as well. You guys never never stop to impress us by your ramping mm. up of comments and uh, views and, and just support for us. So yeah. um, big kudos to you guys. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. It was a long one. Um, mm. but hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time